watching Fustigo's live here on my stream. I've got this up on my tablet so I can make sure that, hey, it says offline. It says live. Okay, here comes the video that I stayed up all night doing. Ooh, it looks so pretty already. <laughs> Trust in the shroud. Okay, we are live. Hello, everybody in chat. Look at all the people we actually have in chat. We are going to be running Shroud Palooza today, raising money for Extra Life. There is some information on the screen there at the bottom, and I'm sure we'll be putting stuff in chat as well. We're just running Heroic Normal. All levels welcome. Just be flagged. If you, uh, you need to be at least 14 to be able to get into Shroud. Or, trust me, if you could get in a level 1, we would have no trouble dragging your gimpy butt through. It would be cool. It would be cool. Alas, the game doesn't work that way. Hi, Even! Hi! Hi, welcome, <laughs> Even! Hi, <laughs> welcome! <laughs> hi, hi, Fulgren, and hi to everyone else who's already joined us! Which is a big, huge relief, because you know, it would be terrible to throw a shroud event and have nobody show up. So yay! We have peoples! We have many peoples! Hurrah! We'll soon have dead peoples, I mean... What? Yes, normal. We are just doing this for fun. We, uh, and to raise money, mostly to raise money for Extra Life, but also because shroud is fun. And uh, we've already had somebody giving us hell in, in local chat here, telling us, oh, I can solo her. It's like, you know, I've soloed it my myself on several tunes. That's not what this is about. We are about having fun, not showing off, bragging. Have fun. Do some good for Extra Life. And that is why we are here. Yes, it's like totally that. not the point to do Shroud for achievement. It's to do Shroud because Shroud is awesome. It's awesome to do Shroud we are trying to raise money for extra life and participate in that drive um because yeah, like have a healer <laughs> oh who needs a healer thing roll op isn't it who needs a healer healers are for quitters um but we're doing extra life drive the the lotro fans last year they raised over five thousand dollars for extra life to help sick kids um at boston's children's hospital I think we can, I don't know if we can do as good <laughs> as well as that, but um, already I've been super surprised and amazed by how much people have contributed to Extra Life, and I think that the um, DDO players can pretty much represent, so we're here to encourage that while we're playing today, and hopefully have some fun, and maybe do some giveaways, and silliness, and all that. I need to step into the raid, don't I? 
it, it does help. Anyone need truthy? Oh, yeah. Uh, I can give out death ward if anyone needs it. If anybody needs uh, things past it, then if they're actually looking for shroud components, let us know. And I think someone said that they might have a first-time shrouder in the party. <gasps> so Do we have a first-time shrouder? <laughs> so just like let us know if you need help, so we can look out for you. Um, and then if we get later in the shroud, like dirt part three, if somebody needs help with a puzzle, just let us know and we'll be happy to help with that as well. Oh, Pixels, I love your guild name. Oh, yeah, and Clubs of the Holy Flame. And I did hear a rumor that if we meet our extra life donations that at some point, probably not this shroud, uh, but uh, we're going to be doing a few more after this that we may end up, uh, if we meet our donation goals, we may end up running around in just our undies and clothes. Should I talk about the goals now? I don't know. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt. What did I say the goals were going to be? <laughs> let um, me, wait, let me check them. <laughs> let me look at, let me look at our private chat. Oh, brain just went, I, it's, it's tough being old. Okay. Okay, Ooh, so if we get $150 in donations to Extra Life today, we're going to do a Captain Underpants run, which is basically you can wear a cloak and you can hold on to your weapon. Ooh, naked toaster. Yeah, so it'll be like we're all running around naked, but our cloaks are flapping out behind us. It'll be fun. Um, so that's if we get 150 of donations. If we get to 200, I'm going to start throwing maybe our skull or pumpkin grenades around so we all look silly. And then wait, if we wait, get to. Wait, 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 wait. Don't we already? Oh, yeah, there's that. But we're going to look like pumpkin level silly. Oh, silly pumpkins. That's better. Now, I, granted, if people are wearing cosmetics on their head, that's, it's not going to have any effect, which will be sad. But hopefully somebody's going to look like a silly pumpkin. I'll take off my stuff so I look like a silly pumpkin. If, uh, if, if we reach let me know there are 250, coming, I will take off we will my do a Fiendling um, companion certificate giveaway. Ooh. And if we reach 300, we will do a rain view in the last run of Shroud of the day, which is basically we only do the Shroud up to part three and we wait around until the prismatic wall appears. And then we do a party wipe in the prismatic wall. Yeah, that's rain viewing. It's tremendous. Um, and so those are the those are our goals for this stream today. And hopefully we'll like raise some money for extra life. And then overall, there's going to be a 1,550 point giveaway code at the end of the stream. Um, and anybody who participates in Twitch chats and anybody who participates in a Shroud run will be eligible for that giveaway. So these are all cumulative, correct? So if we get the 250, then we could be giving away a Fiendling certificate while we're naked with pumpkins in our head dead in the Shroud Part 3. Yeah. Totally. That's exactly what's going to happen if okay. we raise that much. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Shall we go give Harry a hug? Or do we need to... Anybody have any questions? Anything else we need to cover? Or... Is everybody emotionally prepared? No. <laughs> I think so. I don't know if I'm emotionally prepared. Although, I've honestly... even been reading Twitch chat. I feel like I'm failed already. Uh, I think my Twitch chat is locked up. And who named this poor woman? Quisana Mideria? Seriously? Oh, I just realized I'm not doing my job. I need to write down people's names. Well, if nothing else, you will be able to get it from the video. Yeah, I just did a screenshot. A gateway stands high over a raised dais. An infernal scouting force has beaten the gate. I got a kill! I'm helping! You're helping! Yeah, I think we can probably manage some raid bypasses. Yeah. As the last of the <gasps> I got another kill! I'm double helping! I think when we do like other runs, it'd be, uh, I'd like to like give priority to people who haven't done one run yet. 
And then anybody wants to repeat. Yeah, I had to turn down a number of people. I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I, mean, I was pleasantly surprised, but also kind of, it, I mean, it was glad that there was that much interest, but it was also, you know, I felt bad that so many people wanted to get in and couldn't. That's what happened last time. So, like, if I'd like, I, I hope that those people can get into the second run. Um, hopefully they don't go up and do other things. <laughs> hopefully they'll put their Saturdays on hold for Shopalooza. Well, and it then, was my... It was my intention to only run this one. Man, we are slowing these portals down. I'm going to be very slow today. The I mean, even for even. Is a shovel out stream for new portals. And I mean, even thinks DPS means duh, pally slow. The different server portal order is messing with my head. I know, right? I still remember the first time I ran Shroud on Canis. I think that was with you guys, Bonnie. And it was like, wait, wait, wh why are you going there? Are we, g oh wait, that portal's not up yet. That's weird. And we did that demo run last night, and I was like, why is everyone going over there? That's that's the last portal. Yeah, we did a demo run because I wanted to get some of the audio, the uh, trust in the shroud and Harry's little speech. And then I thought, oh, and I'll also have some video to make the intro video. And it turned out that I was using XSplit to record and I had my splash screen up the whole time. So I didn't get any video of anything but my splash screen. I had to go through old videos and try to find something. So. Feels as if the stream of attackers is slowly waning. If I'm not doing anything, it's because I'm typing stuff. If I'm not doing anything, it's because I'm slow, and by the time I'm getting to the portals, you guys have already beaten them up. Hey, I got a couple licks in on that one. Yay! Yeah, if I'm not doing anything, it's probably because my computer's locked up. Either that, or because I don't. And no deaths! Heh. Wee Shroud Bug! This is the first really bad Shroud Bug I've gotten so far. Usually I get it uh, right after we step in. Yeah, I just saw a couple people hanging in midair. Okay, let's open the chest. I'm sure all okay, of these is, weapons are better than me. You should spot. equip them. I know Moraga is looking for shards and we'll roll on them. Does anyone need a small length of infernal change? I need absolutely no shroud ingredients at all. I will catch up. I still haven't typed everything down. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and loot it because it's not bound. If anybody Who needs needed shroud a shard? ingredients... Uh, Moraga, I know Moraga needs a full set of shards. Wow, you'd look else. good wielding that. I'm passing to Moraga. Okay, we got a couple people looking for shards, so we'll maybe try to, uh, yeah, put them up for I passed one to Moraga, so... <laughs> Is... Um, who else needs them? He's putting them up for roll. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Well, that's like the opposite end of the spectrum almost, isn't it? Eldritch device sits here. This one is distinct. The mats aren't bound. I'll just pass them to whoever needs them at the end. The altar of the waiting moon is shimmering as it aligns the lunar body. Okay, I'm in the north. I 
forgot to bring any big beasts, but I think I know my way around Shroud enough not to get too badly lost. Well, I forgot to check to see if I had any more big beasts for you. Between runs. Those big beasts are awesome. I, I should... <laughs> you won't be able to see it until you watch the video, but I should, like, show my my stash of big beasts here on, on the stream. Okay, I'm coming. See, I'm, I'm short on yellow ones, as, as anybody who saw that can see, so, you know, if you have yellow big beasts on Solanus, I would gladly pay you for them. I'm floating slow for some reason. Yeah, I seem to be Everything, it's not really laggy laggy, I just seem to be running slower than normal, it's not like Yeah. That. Okay, it's not just it's like, me. It's like, did I change my gear? Uh, <laughs> who's on a crystal? I'm thinking one of our warlocks? I can or maybe crystal. Our I can I got... do it. I can do it. Kinda geeky wants to do the crystal? That works for me. Oh, I can. Oh, I can. Hey, Catholic, York. Or York. Catholic still hate you. Catholic, remember phase two of Shroud. Okay, that got a little laggy. Okay, everybody looks prepared, so we pull apart. Yep, I thought I had Sagrada, but apparently I didn't. Uh, I, didn't I don't think I have anybody because I was pokey. I'm just swinging at things. That's <laughs> like mighty said. You may be strong, but I am deadlier. Cobalt has dragon blood. Okay, I think I've got the Earth Ellie. Castle, the might falls before your onslaught. Take it down, take it down. Wow, I yeah, I'm moving incredible. I I feel like I'm moving as slow as the Earth Ellie. Zagrata the Feral, Asaho the Knave is returned. Okay, excellent. That was like butter. Oh, her voice is like Super smooth. <laughs> wow, laggy lag. Woo. Oh! Yeah, I just read Moraga's uh, party chat post as uh, we don't have any speedos. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I knew you were going to say that. That's a good thing though, isn't it? I don't mind speedos. I don't think they uh, make speedos the in my size. It is a requirement at the end of phase four that we all stand on the altar and dance before we go through. I'm oh, and I should also them. say that people in Twitch, please type something in chat, etc., so that I know that you're a person and not a bot. If you want to um, get in on the raffle for the turbine bucket. I'm not yes, the turbine. Oops. We, we do oh, please not... don't kill me. <laughs> We, we do not want to try to give prizes to bots. Uh, if you need help with your puzzle, call out what kind of puzzle and where you are. Hey, mine is solved. Oh my god, we didn't get another auto. Nope, we did I was hoping maybe we got another auto so solved. The last time I landed in the solved room. Was, uh, we actually were streaming it. Limino you don't want to use me? With us. A wise choice. And we got an auto solve. Only one I have ever seen. And we got it on stream. Is that the um five by five in the southeast? Yes. Uh do we have some we've got a yep, we have a rogue. I was gonna say, do we have anybody who's I, I can 
I can knock too. Yeah, I, I can. Yeah, I, I can, can pick. I can pick. Actually, I think I have some belts with me too. Okay. I am also, I am also a, a, a trapper. A, a trapper. Oh, okay, I am in here. I wish I had haste. I'm literally willing myself to float faster. Yeah, it's really weird that everything is so slow. Where is Moraga? Oh, we have that touch range on Cocoon now. I liked it better before. Wait, what is touch range? Do you have to literally be standing next to them? Yep. Oh, that's terrible. I know, right? That's that that's if you do it to that, yourself. That's if you do it to yourself. Well, obviously you're gonna be there's a, there's, there's a stance there's and a if stance you take the stance and off. It. The stance off it. Oh, I gotta mute you in party chat kinda geeky because I'm getting it twice in here in Discord. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if anybody's in Discord and uh I will probably mute you in party chat just so I'm not hearing you twice. One left. The final time. Whee! The magical barrier to the altar of the waxing moons dissipates. If I get a shard this time, I will put it for roll rather than just passing. Ooh, look what I got for even. Is it a big beast? Is it a potion of wonder? Is it a tabby cat? Oh, it's hair dye! Ooh! Yes, even collect weird things. It's in the right hand water chest. You. And a shard of great power! Yeah! Yay. I'm getting lots of ings, but no shards. I am going to sell. Ooh, wonder pot. We need to do another Wonder Pop party on the stream. It's not as much fun now that it now that you can't blow yourself up. Oh no! Did they change that? That was like the best part. Nah, the worst thing you can get is the Blades of Shavarath now. Well, that's still pretty good. I remember running. I was on one of my Gimpy alts, and I was running. Temple of Elemental Evil with a guildy of mine who doesn't get a chance to play much, and he had to go AFK, and I just like, oh, here's this wand of a wonder. Let's see what let's see what we get out of this. And he was AFK, and I spawned Shroud Blades, and I killed him. <laughs> I felt kind of bad. Well, I did something very similar to a friend. I didn't tell him that the wand of wonder uh, was self-targeting, so I handed him the wand of wonder and said target me and you can blast me with stuff just to mess with me and he sat there and went through about five charges before he realized they were hitting himself and he had given himself like four negative levels and a bleed proc and... hey miss marita thank you for being here we had a full party guild party and uh and wonder pots and drinking them merrily and i went through three of the ticking time bombs and i and after each one i would say gather for the buffs and they all 
kept on coming back. <laughs> That's Oops. cool. I'm totally stealing it. Kiki, were you part of my very first route? Were you in the in the guild back then? I can't remember. That was it's you been... probably would have remembered. You guys nearly had Before me in tears. Challenge of the full moon <laughs> it was <shimmers> awesome. <laughs> a small devil scouting. I mean, I really, really thought policy. that I had done something terribly, terribly wrong. Destroyed. Um, we did, we did that to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I think it was Levenbolt that really, he's sitting there and it's like, because, you know, he's always so, ugh. just had my ponytail blow across my face. He's always so freaking nice, and he's like, oh, damn it, how did you screw this up? And I'm like, I didn't mean to. <laughs> we did it to so many people. Oh, I love doing it to people now. But there aren't many, you know, most people now have run at least once. Well, today was a little was a little sad because today, after four years, I had to boot Colonel O'Neill. After four years, what? I had to boot Cur Colonel O'Neill's <gasps> tunes. Oh no! Well, that sucks. Uh. Yeah, I haven't seen him in ages. I guess he doesn't play anymore. No, he hasn't been on for four years. Yeah, after four years. Uh, I did just hear from a uh, guilty of yours who said he was coming back after five years. Wizard came back. That? Yep, he sent me a tell earlier. He... He apparently found his uh, username from our from our uh, website. And I got my slash hug with Carrie in time. Yay! Oh yeah, I need to hug. Oh, I'll have to hug him in the next one. Okay, does anybody need a rest? <laughs> Do we have any real first timers? Because I think that was just a myth, but No, somebody somebody's son is playing. Oh. So so that wasn't the a extra myth? chest? We actually no, seriously, we do have a first wow, timer. Wow, you'd look good wielding that. Extra chest time? Okay, first timer would when you're done looting and uh shrining, would you please hop up there on the altar so I can see who you are? Because oops, I was trying to loot, not shrine. For the real first timer, please stand up. Please stand up. Oh, so that's not actually Kunoichi, and I'm probably mispronouncing your name horribly. Because I know Kunoichi has run Shroud before. I am pretty sure I've run it with him. But if this is his son, okay. So we have a real life first timer. Uh, can anyone give him a jump spell? Is it Kunoichi? Yep. Okay, uh, that should be the only thing you, you need. Uh, you you can actually do it with at least like a jump of 10, but jump spell sometimes helps. Uh, if you have feather fall, have it on. That'll make you fall a little slower, which will make this easier. And I'm talking on a cough drop, so hopefully I'm coming through clearly. Uh, once we click the altar and the portal appears, normally when you click the portal, you just go through to phase 5. If you have never run Shroud before, there is a very, very, very slim chance that you will get teleported to a secret room that has two chests in it. Uh, the chests can contain shardings, or shroudings and shards of power. There is a small chance for unbound plus two tomes, and an even smaller chance for bound plus three tomes, which, you know, most people have them nowadays, but, you know, back in the days of Shroud, that was a thing. 
They actually found the room. Somebody, they, they fixed this. It used to actually show up on the map, and that was how people knew it was there. And they also fixed, I think around update 9, it used to be like if you were in mouse look, the circle would turn red when you were at just the right spot, but they fixed that. What was that, update 9, I think? Basically, what you want to do is when the portal, we, we click the altar and the portal appears, jump off the altar, aim for just slightly above the center of the portal works best from what I've heard because you're falling so you want to try to click a dead center so aim just a little teeny bit high so you get the exact center as you're falling with any luck we will get some extra loot if not it's no big deal we'll just go on to phase five so whenever you, I'm going to go ahead and click the portal for or the altar for you whenever you're ready the trip to the last click the portal and see if we can get some extra loot abandon your quest yet Trust in the shroud. Almost forgot everybody danced too, except of course for Koichi, who's going to be jumping and clicking the center of the portal and hopefully getting us lots of loot. Anytime you're ready. Ah, uh, Kanoichi, I thought it was you. I thought this was your son playing, somebody said. Do if it's not Kanoichi, who is our newbie? Because we need to... My son is new. Oh. Uh, would he like but he's on my husband's call. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Supreme Tiger Grilla. Yeah, I think all that uh, green scale means you're... Hey, Wood, thanks for coming. You want him to go first? Okay. Would, would he like to jump through and see if he can get us the extra chest? Um, you're about to die if you aren't careful. Uh -oh. I suggest a nice rest and a cup of tea. What just happened? Oh my gosh, what, what, what's going on? At least he didn't show up in Middle Earth like that other time. I think you did it wrong. Oh god. Uh, anyone who is reading Twitch chat, rest assured, we are giving lots of prizes away for Shroudpalooza, but Fulgrin lies, we are not giving away his body. Uh, we couldn't pay people to take it, but okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Bonnie drew me without pants the other day. I put them back on! We're alive! But which one are we gonna save? <laughs> Okay, I'll we're gonna have to <laughs> put him apart. Yeah, I'm trying to get Caspic here. But I don't want to inch him because I don't want to draw everybody with him. Follow me! Follow me to freedom, Caspic! Forget to hug him. Everybody hug Harry. Harry needs a hug. Uh, before we push the altar, does anyone not want a completion? Oh, well, that's true. If no one wants a completion, they should step out. Oh, and there is a handy D door for anybody who wants it. So Please. we'll give everybody a chance to get out if they want to before we Please leave. Please exit the vehicle and remember all your gear. <laughs> the 
The white zone is for loading and unloading only. There is no parking in the red zone. And you know, Harry the has email now. The red zone is for loading and unloading only. There is no parking in the white zone. Okay, zone everybody out. He wants to be out. Okay, clicking. In three, two, one and a half, one and a quarter, one and an eight, one, zero. The altar of the lost moon flares to life, pulling the final lunar. One shroud down. <laughs> Yay! Mm -hmm. Oh, weird. Wait, what? The chest took a really long time to appear. It took yes. from the time I clicked the altar, it took yeah. a really long time yeah. for We should do a link next time and get more chests. Just in case people are looking for gears. That was my son. <gasps> Potion of Wonder! Does anyone need larges? I do not, and Metalosius, uh, Metalosius' son, thank you for being such a good sport about getting us through that portal. I got in double digit kills! Wow! That's, like, more than I had in my first 10 or 12 shrouds combined. I managed to not kill anything. I managed to not kill myself! Hey, managing to not kill yourself is something. Oh man, do I not have any weapons I can chunk in here? I didn't loot anything that I can um, grind as my traditional grind in the um, altar. Oh my. my oh, there's cool. something. It's really Shroud. Eva is dancing naked on the altar, except for her cloak and undies. Now it's really shroud. Oh, actually, I know what I need to do. Except my fingers are on the wrong keys. For those watching and playing, we will be giving away a 1500 uh, DDO point code at the end of the stream amongst the people who are participating in the Shroud Runs and the people who are participating in Twitch chat. So if you're in Twitch chat and you haven't typed anything, please do so so we know you are a human. Yes, because there or... are a lot of the people you are seeing in Twitch chat who aren't talking are actually bots. We do not want to give them point codes. That yeah, would, I don't. That would not be good. Be a waste of a point code. Just mail off, uh, you know, turbine point code. I'm not sure. Also, I need are someone you needs to seriously not. Someone needs to like start punishing me if I say that. Am I the only naked altar dancer? Maybe. You are. I already recalled. I was na dancing naked on the altar, but everyone was looting, so I just left. I've never heard of that tradition. It's kind of a guild thing. <laughs> It's okay if you but are a dragonborn, or if you're a dwarf, or you're a gnome, or any of those other races, and can still type in Twitch chat. So, it's not a racial thing, it's just we want you to actually be able to type in chat and not be a bot. Yeah. Like, Warforge and Bladeforge are actually fine, but if you're actually a Twitch bot, not so much. I shouldn't have said human, okay. I didn't mean to be racist. I'm just bodist. Warforged, for the record, are not robots. Warforged are made out of love. There, I They're what sentient I constructs made of wood and metal. I am going to take the poor man's teleport back to the ship. And I am going to swap to another tune to... You know, a better item wouldn't Woo! suffer this time. And we are going to, um... Well, the party should disband, and if you are um, interested in doing another run, please be on standby. Yes, we will be putting up another LFM. We, uh, like I said, we I probably turned down enough people to make at least a full second party. So yeah, uh, we probably do have some raid timers available, but if we can get some different, pe you know, give other people a chance, that would be great. We want Which everyone is not to say that we didn't love running with you because this <laughs> was this was awesome. 
was a really nice party. Yeah, we just want everybody who, um, who wants to to have the opportunity to get at least one run in. Yeah. All we ask is that you are polite and respectful and all that good stuff. Oh man, that's asking a lot. <laughs> okay, I am going to uh, drop party and go get my alt. One of my many alts. What I'm honestly not sure why the why I mean I know some people use bots in their own channels for various reasons. I don't know why other bots go, like like my channel suddenly has bots <laughs> interpersonal contact and camaraderie. Yeah. Uh, DDO is look locked up, so here look at Harry for a bit while I get my tune switched here. We like Harry. I like looking at Harry, but then I'm I'm that might just be me being weird. I know some uh, chat um, services use bots for uh, moderating specific um, things, so it might be like an auto moderation and not it won't catch everything, but it catches some of the other stuff. So it might be partly that. So usually those are ones that you have to pro as a, the ch channel admin have to program and set up and yeah. install. Like there's issues. one bot that's the channel bot, the yeah, moderator. Like, why are there bots in my channel? I've never set any bots up. I mean, I don't really mind that they're there. They're not causing any problems. I just think it's a little weird. Skynet? Yeah. Uh, they're probably becoming self-aware. Your, your, your channel bot is spawning the other channel bots to try to take over the world? Oh, that that's definitely a possibility. I think my theory is a little more accurate. They're trying it. They're, they're in there for a chance to win my body. In the giveaway. That's the competition it. is fierce. Extremely fierce. Whoa, someone's logging into the game. Yeah, slow oh, the game is like, you know, this might game. be a good time to talk about the Shroud of Palooza art contest. <gasps> yes, yes, the art contest. The Shroud of Palooza art contest that has no entries at this point, as far as I know. So if you put in an entry, odds are looking pretty good. <laughs> I mean, Fulgren, I Fulgren, you might win. But, Fulgren, but no, he, not he's eligible. not eligible. Fulgren, yeah, I'm not eligible for that. Uh, like, even. Me and Thulgren, we aren't eligible for any prizes and stuff, because that would be weird. But, like, um, so anyone who's not the three of us, and we're open to any kind of art, because really it's just um, as a fun participatory we thing. If you, you know, so you don't have to be able to draw, because, I mean, it's not like we can draw really well. Even can draw really well, but no. she's always, <laughs> she's busy. She doesn't have time to draw things for us. <laughs> Well, we, we do also, uh, it's not just drawing. We opened it up to video, photo, and um, crafts as well. Yeah. Uh, Someone asked if they could do, like, some kind of digital Shroud Blues a banner thing, and I'm like, go for it. Yeah, I believe uh, Judy Nazareth was going to crochet or, or knit or something and take pictures of it and send it. So any I'm hoping she does like that. that uh, write us a song. Ooh, or that'd be cool. Any kind of artistic endeavor at all, any kind of a shroud endeavor. haiku. Oh, we'll get Jeff Hanna for sure. I know. Where is Jeff Hanna when you need him to write a shroud haiku? A shroud coup. <laughs> yeah. Shroud yeah. Oku. Wait, 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 wait. He, he, he's Hair like haiku. he's Hair cheering coup? on the Broncos. A Harry coup? Yeah, he he's like Johnny Carson. Ever since he semi-retired from blogging, he's basically just disappeared. Do you see him every once in a while when, like, the Broncos do something? Yeah, I haven't seen anything updated on his actual uh, blog site for oh, yeah. some time. Speaking of which, um, our DDO is actually back, so... Oh, thank you for the plug. There yes, you go. It is, and I actually even blogged once. I keep meaning to blog more. Yeah, you and me both. 
Oh, we need to get an elephant up, don't we? Yes, we do, for round two. So, Bonnie, have you given any updates on the um, money raised so far? Uh, no. It is right on the screen. I haven't gotten any updates, and I think it will uh, it will update on the screen if we get any donations. I should post something in chat again. If it is after stream and you're watching this, you can go to extralife.org slash participant slash Shroudpalooza, or you can go to the Shroudpalooza.com page to find a link to donate to Extra Life if you are interested. Oh, and if you're interested in the Shroud Blues Art Contest we were talking about earlier, you can mail your entries to General Eratricos at Shroudpalooza at Gmail. You could hey, basically email General Eratricos at Shroudpalooza at Gmail if you want to ask him a question. Maybe he'll respond. I don't know. I may have accidentally just declined somebody. If you were just declined accidentally, try hit the elephant again. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I try to keep my chat hidden, and I forgot to fix that on Vic. I did it on even last night. Just because some of the things we end up like some of the chat channels and even sometimes guild chat gets a little non PG thirteen, and especially since we're on the uh, <laughs> on the official, we want to be careful about that. Oh, I just invited Bonnie and she's already here. Uh, comic, just reading your Twitch chat, the bodies are buried under the bathhouse on the airship. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, I was just kind of responding to somebody who said they had no place to put the body. Oh. And, you know, check out your Shroudpalooza text chat, too. So many chats. Very well. Oh, I see why that got auto-declined. Because oh. I hadn't converted us to a uh, raid group yet. We're not a raid. We are now. But I was wondering because I went to, to click when, when that stalker first sent me the request, I went to click upset, accept, and it's like, oh, that didn't work. What's going on? Oh. Ha, that's why we're not getting any hits. I forgot to take the LFM down. Okay, now it's up. Uh, yes, we do have a uh, Discord link there. Uh, if anyone want in the party would like to uh, use Discord instead of party chat, either one will work. Oh, it looks like we just I got another. We just got a donation. What? That we did. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
wow, that is really weird. People, I was just seeing like, uh, well, you'll see it if you were looking at the stream. It didn't show that somebody wanted to, it just said like Meridia and it just said where they were. It didn't say, you know, normally when, when people are hitting your LFM, it comes up and says, you know, such and such and they're this level. And, and for some reason it was just showing their location. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Welcome. Oh, we have a person named Taco Meat. Oh, look out for I know. For, Fulgren. for a second I thought you were an alt. Fulgren looks... Fulgren likes tacos better than everybody. Tacos are the best. The end. Also, it's been a while since I posted an LFM. We're usually just doing guild runs, but I just noticed they spelled advertise wrong. At the very top it says create, edit, LFM, advertise, P-I-Z-E, as looking for more players. Where is Linabelle when you need him? Oh, Linabelle! That's alright, I noticed the other day when I lost connection, they spelled connection with an X. I've seen that going on a, a lot of places lately. Did they some like somehow officially change it somewhere? Actually, British would be much more likely to be an S than a Z. Yeah. yeah. No, no, X as an X-ray. No, I was talking about connection. Advertise. That could but be yeah, a British I've been seeing thing connection too. With an, Wrong, with an X a lot, and I, I am an it's editor by trade. It annoys me. Where's Grim when you need to know about British things? <gasps> right. Oh, I think she's still around. Oh yeah. In fact, she's I around. think she, they're going to be running with us on Sarlona. It's one of the reasons I don't we know. tried to do it. Well, in the they afternoon. were going to like, they were going to some concert in Sweden or something, weren't they? What? <laughs> Abba? That's got, that no, not Abba. Some nerve you, priorities here. The first weekend that I told them, I think they were available, but then I moved it forward a week, and I think they had plans. I told them they should roll up characters on in flag on Wayfinder. Yes. Everybody I mean... should roll up characters, roll up iconics, and flag on Wayfinder. Because shake the really pillars out, yeah. Wayfinder. In case shake you're not the pillars. With Shroud Palooza, basically we're going to just run Shroud a bunch of times for a few hours. And then uh, we're doing Solanus this week. We're going to be doing this every other week. In two weeks, we will be on Sarlona. Another two weeks, uh, Orion. Then Wayfinder. Argo. And I can never remember whether Kyber or Galanda comes next. But Kyber, then Kyber and Galanda in some order, and wrapping up with Kenneth, and Kenneth on is last. January 12th. So, October 20th will be the next Shroudpalooza on Sarlona. You can find the schedule at shroudpalooza.com. Bookmark it. You can find out about all, Shroud, about all Shroudpalooza related things at shroudpalooza.com. Uh, Wood, don't feel bad. We get lost in these conversations, too. Yet we do have one uh, one opening here, and let's see, let's give it, I have 4.55, let's give it two more minutes and then just go ahead and start. Yeah. Was there anyone who needed raid by past timers? I can probably pull some out of the bank. Hey! Oh, Pixels got in just too late. Uh, unless I click accept on the first one. What cloak are you wearing there, even? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Okay, I'm clicking accept. And nothing is happening. If nothing look, happens, look they might have gone weird. into something else. There we go. 
Okay, well, two people didn't make it in, but they were both with us last time, and that was real. Something was weird going on with the elephants. Uh, what cloak is this? Hang on a sec. I'm not good at multitasking. This is the legendary mantle of the Dwarven Commander, and I just noticed that. <gasps> Ooh, that looks really good with her brown armor and brown hair, doesn't it? Yeah, I like the nice orange color. I like Okay, it. I'm gonna step in. Okay. If you didn't make it in, we will have at least one run after this one. No, Elite? Serious? Okay. I mean, it's not yeah, like you can't handle Yeah, we're all overpowered. And if anybody is looking for ingredients, that'll give them two more chests. And if you do happen to be a little gimpy, don't worry. We'll get you through. If you die, it's not a big deal. Ammo is usually a good thing to have. Ammo is good. Unless you don't have a crossbow or anything to shoot it with. Oh, I got lots of I even have arrows, which I don't- I must have just looted them and they went into my quiver automatically. I haven't played Zik in a while, which would be fun. Is this working? Yes, it is! Yep. Uh, is Even here? I am Even, Victoria! You, uh, remember me? <laughs> I met you at the, uh, players meetup. Uh, wh I can't tell who's talking. Hang on a sec. Let me pop over to Discord. Axel. Oh, Axel! Yeah, oh, hi, Axel! You're JDO, Axel! Yay! Yes. I'm glad you made it. You know. I saw you drop the link in the uh, chat. Yeah. Shroud Palooza is always fun. We really need to do this once a year. This is what we can't really Doing say. This. this is the second annual because wasn't the first one in like 2014? Mm hmm. Yeah, the first Rock Place was four years ago. Real life happens, okay? Don't judge. Back <laughs> when the level cap was 28 instead of 30. So we are even more overpowered doing Shroud now. Yes. Are we ready to go talk to the horribly named Quisana Mideria? Nobody's saying I think no, so. so I'm going to take that as a yes. If you aren't ready, don't move forward. <laughs> I was trying to think of a pun to you, Idea, and it, and it just didn't happen, so. <laughs> it's elementary, Nigeria. There, now it can't. Now it can't. Well, after. Well, I'm rooting for taco meat. I don't know, that wasn't very punny. Uh. Mm. But then neither was that. I guess I've been using a great cross for very long. I'm still getting used to it not being PvP Q. I just think. think. Alright, now that I'm actually doing the portals, I'm trying to figure out if you do have a Thalanus way of, of doing this. Yes. Although, so far, it seems a lot like... Kanath. Yeah, if I remember right, that the first time we did it was with you guys on Kanath. Uh, the, like, the first few were similar, and then all of a sudden I was like, what are they doing? This isn't how you go? <laughs> I do think also... On Orion, this is portal number seven, so, like, <laughs> yeah, that, like, everyone went the wrong direction, what's going on? I think once we get really overpowered, it just becomes this kind of everybody go your own way. Okay, so we get a to the Mac. Yeah, everybody Fleetwood Mac. Yep. That's exactly what came to mind. <laughs> 
Man, there's a concert. I wish I could. I got a kill! Oh, did you help? I helped! I am so proud! <gasps> kill count! Kill count! Oh my goodness! Go, Vic! It won't last, but it's fun for now. Is that stone skin you got on now, even? Yeah, somebody stone skinned me, and I appreciate that. So you're you're saying that you got stone skin on the official screen, screen? Yeah, she did. Yes, yes, I, I got stoned on the stream. She rock and rolled. I'm just thinking those clo cloaks look, look pretty cool, uh, stoned. They do, don't they? The drug commission would like to tell you that no one looks good stoned. <laughs> Ask Jim Brewer. to the altar of the waning moon's discipline. You smash up the portals. Oh, I wonder if I ever flagged my, my dwarf barb who was raised by orcs for shroud. Another elder because, I mean, she would love this part, the phase one, because, one I mean, smash all things. Okay, who needs Meridian. shards of power? And does anyone need ingredients? If you need ingredients, send even notes in-game mail. Tell me what you need. Uh, Whitever? Am I saying that right? Whatever? Whatever? Anyway, there's a shard in the left-hand chest for you. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? Oh, and there's my sentient weapon. I've, I've gone from timid with even to hopeful with Vic. It's the best part of adventuring. Wow, those birds look amazing. I need to play my monk more now that she's got one. I absolutely need no shard ingredients at all. I'm hung up. I'm hung up. I'm hung up. I can't speak. I'm hung up. Wow, that's hard to say. Either that or I can't talk the good. I was about to say, it's only difficult to say hung up if you're hung over. <laughs> but I'm not hung over and I still can't say I'm hung up. Hey, I oh, I just did it all the time and I don't even drink. I had to work my work my way into it. I had to like warm up, limber up. You're really red good at leather, this. Red yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. She sells seashells <laughs> down by the seashore. What a seashore. Oh, I'm Ooh, I forgot the cat auto's whistler. I should try to get like a line of devils dancing in phase four. Um, I can actually take the crystal. Where are you taking the crystal? I'm going to take it out uh, for dinner. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Pony. I like it. This is you take it to White Blue Mountain. Show it a good time. Uh, since when did this become dad joke palooza? It's always it's dad joke palooza. I just didn't make it as obvious. Since they started? <laughs> since the planning phase? <laughs> dad jokes are like jello. There's always room! <laughs> Take a seat. Take it where? That D&D &D dad jokes thing on Twitter is pretty good. Well, is that Sagrada Paladin Dad or something? Yes, Paladin Dad, that's what I'm thinking of. Sagrada seems to have fell in love with me, so... I'll bring him down here, maybe one of you guys can grab him. Uh, yes. yeah, I think it's Paladin, Paladin Dad, Dad on Twitter. It's awesome. It's really awesome. Okay, Sagrada, your, your aggro is supposed to jump around. Jump, jump up, jump up and get down! Jump, 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 jump around. Let me hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, different You're people have the aggro. Yes, I no longer have aggro, so I am waiting at the crystal. It's so pretty. And oh my. Oh wait, wrong quest. I never have the argo. Oh, 
Oh, come on, Bobrin. They're, they're all going over have there. A crystal. I never get to shoot the crystal. Who has all the friends? Sagrata the Feral falls in defeat. Taco Meat has all the friends. Everybody loves Taco Meat. <laughs> taco, taco uh, I can't say I blame them. Go down. Ruben de Masi, the Wendigo, crumbles into nothing as the crystal shatters. Here we go. We. This is fact, going frighteningly well. New moons, oh, I think you just jinxed us. I know. I, why, I've been, why would you say something like that? <laughs> I am absolutely a trap monkey rogue, so I will be more than happy to open any. Any doors so that people can solve puzzles. The gateway to the next of the giant's challenges. And if anyone needs help on their puzzle, please share with us. We'll be happy to help. I did think of something though. If I run, I would need you to a bypass. Oh, I landed in a solved one. You got a solved. D we. Oh my God. What? Is, we got an auto solve. How did this happen? I what? don't what? know. What is this sorcery? Wow, wow. what are the odds, odds that we would get it twice on the stream? What? Is. They're all automatically solved? They, they are solved. all automatically all solved. Run water. This is bizarre! Is that, is that I know, right? Yeah. It's gotta be a bug. When did this start happening, y'all? Actually, I think theoretically, this, run this probably I mean, the, the puzzles randomly have a comp you can't always solve them the same way. I mean, they're all different configurations. So I think, you know, there's that one in 50 bazillion, you know, odds to one that they will actually be solved. I can't believe that this is this actually is crazy. the second one I've gotten. This is the first time it's ever happened to me, and I've done a bazillion shrouds. The first Same one, uh, Linabelle was in the, the, and she said she had heard of it, but she had never actually seen it. This is so mystical. The first one we got was on the stream too. Wow! Wow! I think I can pretty safely Whatever say I'm the you only win. person in existence <laughs> that has two shroud on itself on video. Yeah, you cannot they outrun the two pick up a lot more than they chewed up even. It's a stubby little leg. My toaster's legs are longer than yours, I'd like you to Oh, I just assumed... Out. Yeah, why do I always assume all your characters are dwarves? Because most of them are. That's a pretty safe assumption to be Wait, heard. what's your name? Fulgren is a tin dwarf. See? This is why I'm confused. <laughs> Mixed messages. Well, I just have different kinds of dwarves. Like we have the tall dwarf, the tin dwarf, the confused you're, dwarf. You're a very tall dwarf. tin dwarf. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Labeling. You have a pointy ear dwarf? No. Potion of Wonder! Oh, this is a good day for Wonder Pots. Actually, I'm lying. I do. I have uh, a Thulgren stolen elf body on the <laughs> <table. laughs> awesome. Oh, that's great! Ah, <sighs> nothing like a well-deserved rest. Oh, that snowy owl is gorgeous. I need a shard of great power. No, thank you. I'm passing it now. I love the butterflies. Those butterflies that they have flo floating around the veil, they are my favorite. Yes, and what is it, the Druid of Summer thing, Springs Resurgent or something like that? You click that and you get them circling around your head. What is Crown of Summer? Is that what it is? Crown of Summer, that works. I mean, I could be wrong. I haven't played my, my Druid in a couple weeks.
wall are you on? Like, where, where, where are you, Cross? Look. Man, every time I switch over to the Twitch window, I get confused because I think that that's where the game is. Because I see, see me your when display. I, when I bop over to XSplit, which of course is showing exactly what's on my screen here. And like, I tried to actually accept a couple of people who were hitting the LFM by clicking on XSplit. It's like, yeah, nothing's happening. What the hell? That's what I'm doing with the stream. I keep clicking on it like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Let's hit this altar, eh? Uh, we are raising money for Extra Life. We have set a goal of $1,000. We are about six, a little over 60% of the way there. If you go to shroudpalooza.com, you can find and click on the Extra Life option on the menu. You can find the donation link. Like I said, anyone who donates will be eligible for some pretty spiffy prizes. Uh, if yeah. you want to donate anonymously, though, you should email a retrocross the way Harry's name is er, actually yeah. spelled at gmail.com shroudpalooza at gmail.com you can email um, Harry with contact information if you want to do an anonymous donation I'm going to assume that people who make anonymous donations don't care but if you do make an anonymous donation we have no way of like sending you prizes afterwards so that's just a heads up but at the end at the end of Shroudpalooza, like anybody who donates before uh, December 26th, um, after that point, we're going to do a drawing for a 12-month VIP code for a DDO. So that's pretty cool. And we're also doing giveaways for um, different milestones, if we reach them, of additional point codes. And oh my god, you guys stepped in. Oh yeah, that's why we're, we're not going to What does Extra Life do? Extra Life um, is a charity that sponsors Children Miracle Network Hospitals. We're playing to raise money for Boston Children's Hospital, which is uh, a hospital that the Lord of the Rings Online players raised money for last year. It's also the closest children's hospital to the location for the headquarters for Standing Stone Games. Okay, cool. They do things like um, help pay for treatments and do other kind of care and research for different childhood diseases and ailments that their patients are suffering. So it's really helpful and does a lot okay, of support on, for the kids handy. and their families. I mean, you know, that was ready fun. To get our, I look forward to working with you in yeah. the future. And the, uh, the Lotro team over at uh, um, Standing Stone Games, formerly Turbine, they've been so, actually doing extra life um, things every year for like the last four or five years. So yeah. It's really, really kind of cool. I think they raised about three thousand dollars two years ago, and last year they raised over five thousand. It's a really, really a big deal among low trip players. So I thought we can do that too. Sounds like a good cause. I will definitely donate here in a minute. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. I'm trying to find. I changed weapons. There we go. So I what's on heal. for today? Creatures to slay, evil I overlords pay to depose. I got poisoned. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why, but uh, it seems that uh, Lotro does the extra life on a yearly basis, and then DDO does the Movember stuff on a yearly basis. Though, actually, it'll. Um, Isn't when this I get the killed, best part of adventuring? Can I assume we have no first timers this time? Oh, Nath Stalker, what is that cloak? Oh, Ooh, that is a pretty cloak. Goodness, Dissy, me, my bard needs that cloak. That would look awesome with her allocator's habiliments. That is an awesome looking cloak. Actually, your cloak is pretty cool too. What cloak are you wearing? Oh, we've already asked you that. It was um I'm, dwarf uh, something. Mantle of the you Dwarven Commander. Legendary mantle of the Dwarven Commander. That's where I knew Doctor Feelgood from. I 
I feel like I recognize Dr. Gilgit's name. <gasps> Are you alright? And not just Is from there like a cleric a song. in the house? Death cures being poisoned. Good to know. Pro tip. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily call that a cure. I feel better. I'm a little incorporeal, but I feel better. Trust in the shroud. I believe in you, Shroud! Clap your hands if you believe in the Shroud! So I can't even hold down my push to talk and clap at the same time. I'm just like, oh, it might help if I turned auto attack on and actually like started shooting at these guys, huh? Well, then we're gonna get very zen, you know, if you hold down push to talk, you hear what the sound of one hand clapping is. Oh, man, oh. The that's man. Oh, I have them. In fact, I think my my Oh, part, is that what Mantle the World Shaper looks like? That oh. is amazing. Oh, that's a oh. really nice looking cloak. That so much fashion. So good on Dizzy. Have, have you seen the uh, mimic cloak uh, yet from the um, um, mimic hunt stuff? It's, I it's don't actually know. pretty cool too. I'm not sure if I have the mimic hunt cloak. Is it made out of mimics? <laughs> Um, might be. They actually have um, a chest down at the bottom of it, and it's all colorful, and they've got some other stuff at the top. I've got one on my character. I might have to take a screen screenshot. I'm just waiting for the paralyzing terror when I realize someone's wearing an owlbear cloak. I love when we're in the middle of a rip and spending more time talking fashion about people's cloaks than actually <laughs> killing the boss. Well, it is hairy. I mean... You know I he'll be back. looks like, like Harry's wings. Also, there's a gnat in here, and he keeps flying in my face. It's called multitasking. Oh, I didn't say anything bad about it. Just tickled me. What was the conversation we had uh, was it earlier today that started with... Uh... Man, it was on Twitter, and we had that one. The one where even Thulgren won't eat it? Uh, does anyone not want a completion? Uh, it started. Oh, I remember. It started with uh, "I like Doctor Who" and ended with "Dream pies are made from the jellified remains of your children." <laughs> what? Oh yeah. I missed that conversation. <laughs> that... Doesn't everybody like Doctor Who? You know, I I don't like to be shamed for what I do and don't like. I've seen one episode of Doctor Who. I told a friend who has been watching Doctor Who for years and says, oh, I just saw a Doctor Who episode, my first one. She's like, oh, which one? I said, oh, he finally finds out who River Song really is. And she's like, ah, shut up, no, spoiler alert, I haven't seen that one. So yeah, I watched one Doctor Who episode and spoiler to friend who has watched it for years. That was my sign to just, yeah, maybe it's not for me. This and is I why you never have, miss yeah. a Doctor Who episode. I just don't have That's time right. to watch all this stuff. Okay, no. okay. pulling the altar in three. Two, the one, or somebody else can pull it. No, I actually stumbled across Doctor Who on on PBS here in the states back in the um, back in the late seventies, early eighties, and uh, that's that's when I got hooked on it. And it was really, yeah, me too. I thought it was really cool. You know, Tom Baker was the first uh, Doctor I've ever seen, and he, of course, is the longest running Doctor, um, and probably one of the most popular. But anyway, so. That's how I got hooked, and I've just been, been uh, trying to catch it ever since. Yep, one of my favorite shows as a kid. Hey, Thorgan, don't forget to say hi or low. Oh, uh, hi, hi. Oh, you're gonna say low because you know twerk rules. Hi, low. Hello. Uh, that's highest. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants supreme shard. Oh, okay. Crossbot does. Yay. I'm gonna need to sell after this run. My inventory's hey, too full. good to see you again, Wister. Well, since Crossbot's and you're the only role, you yeah, win by you... default. Yeah. Congratulations. I'll, I'll give you mine, too, since nobody rolled on it. Mine's in the uh, far left chest.
Taco Meat beat me in the kill count by two. Because That's what? the power of Taco Meat. Oh, okay, shall we, of... shall we get to the next shrouds and save the naked dance for the last one? Because I think we can fit in at least two more. Yeah. At this rate, we will fit in two more. Yep. If they Are all we... go as fast as that one just went, possibly even three. He's already left the party, so that means it's probably bad timing, but does... I, I probably should not say the following sentence, that I like to eat taco meat when there's someone named Taco Meat in the party. But he left. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I was waiting for Solgren to be entirely inappropriate. I'm trying to be I'm trying very hard to behave. Since were you we're thinking that the thing. whole time? I totally was. Oh, Never. a short bow of assassinate. I am going to sneak up behind you and stab you in the back with my short bow. Hey, Cracknut, thank you for being here. It's a wonder your brain didn't explode. I did take several like... points of psychic damage. Speaking of brains exploding, anybody seen um, Homestar Runner? Seen who? Not recently. No. Nope. Uh, they got that one. Um, game, they got a vector game in there, and, and his, his quote is, Your head explode. Well, I am going to log Vic and get the Gimpy Bard so I can see if she has a mantle of the world shaper. And she's like for Shroud, so let us run her next. I'm going to sell some items. And I'm going to just restart DDO completely because it's just a little bit. You know, you zone a lot of times. And it gets weird. It does. Don't forget, Strange donate things extra life. We do K. have prizes up for grabs. Ooh, I just got a 500 favor reward. <gasps> 500 favor? Well, what do you know. get for that? I uh, some points. Did you get a cookie? Uh, if if there was a cookie in the mail, I didn't pay attention to it. But you're welcome to it if if you want the cookie. Maybe it's a savory cookie. Maybe like because like biscuits are almost like cookies, but they're in bread form. Well, over in England, biscuits are cookies. Yeah. yeah our biscuits are scones. Yeah. yeah. Scones or biscuits. Just and slightly different oh, flour and milk although it does, proportions. It does explain the knee-jerk reaction when you describe biscuits and gravy to someone across the pond and they go, oh, because they're thinking like chocolate chip cookie with sausage gravy doused on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. And not even Thulgren will eat that. Not even Thulgren will eat that. It does sound better than that salmon pudding th thing that you posted. Oh, <laughs> fish earlier. pudding. That picture was so gross. <laughs> you have no nasty. idea. The eggs on top are just so repulsive to me. For everyone listening at home that didn't get to see it, it was a recipe found in a 1970s microwave cookbook, which involves canned salmon mixed pureed with mayonnaise and topped with sliced boiled eggs. Uh, now, there's see, a little the bit more to it. The only but... thing that looked like I would be able to stomach it, that fish... The... I mean... Fish pudding just sounds bad from the start. Yeah, there, there's nothing about that name that sounds like, no, just right off the bat, hard pass, a fish pudding. Oh, but to be fair, the salmon and mayonnaise, that's not much different than tuna and mayonnaise to make your uh, tuna salad, so. Yeah, but you're not pureeing it into a pudding-like consistency and then heating it in the microwave. This is true. Oh, I'm silently crying. <laughs> And everyone's appetite for dinner has been spoiled. I was like, if the stream goes well, I'm gonna order tacos for dinner. But now it's like, tacos? I'm never so I was to talking eat about, again. you know, pulsified salmon, a good thing. <laughs> and warm mayonnaise. <laughs> Yum. Thanks for the run, guys. I'm out of here. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining us, Axel. Yeah, my DDO, I went to shut down DDO, and it is now locked up with just a black screen. So, like, if I actually oh, no. put down my Harry... Oh, there, it's finally leaving. Well, I still see Harry. 
Oh yeah, that's because I have a black background up behind him, but if I took the black background down, you would have, and just had DDO up, you would have still seen a black background. You know, the neat thing about you hosting the stream instead of me means that everybody doesn't get to see how awful my inventory still is. Oh, are you yeah. one of those individuals <laughs> that, I, that would give me no just comment. A, a migraine to look at your inventory? I, there would be like a hurting intervention. Uh, isn't that everybody? No, some people are actually have clean inventories. Some people actually what? only use one page of their inventory with only the stuff that they need. That's, cr that's crazy talk. Oh, those people are so weird. I but have, they, they exist. I have four inventory tabs and 53 slots empty. Even yep. has 160 Not quite fitting on one page, tabs but that's because 20. I have, you know, 70 stacks of components. Yeah, because I'm technically a sorcerer. Technically. Also, technically. why am I at 100% CPU? What the heck is going on here? It's trying to process fish pudding. Yeah, it's the fish pudding. That would definitely be frightening. Now yeah, that would gum up the works all right. Maybe your computer's in shock an auto solved part three in that last round. Especially since it's already seen one auto solve. Yeah, it's like cannot compute. If my CPU were dealing with the thought of winning Thulgren's body, I'm pretty sure it would have just died. Yeah, that too. I mean there's a lot going against your CPU sanity right now. It has gazed into the darkness. It has looked into the soul of the universe. Looks like XSplit is actually maybe having some kind of a memory leak. XSplit accounts for more than 70% of it. I know that when you gaze into the fish pudding, the fish pudding also gazes into you. Ah. Okay. The horror. The horror. Coming back up. Yeah, it's kind of like cow's tongue. I've just never been into any, any food that might actually be tasting me back. <laughs> I've got to decide who I'm going to run for the last one. I sold so much stuff. I think I might have cleared up two pages of my inventory. Uh, so for the particular recipe that I had posted, uh, no, it, it's canned salmon that you pull the bones out of. So unless the eyes are in the canned salmon, which at least the cans I've seen have, uh, do not have eyes in it. Oh, that's because the pudding is a portal to the abyss. The pudding looking back at you cans as a portal. Okay, the legendary mantle of fury is nice, but it's not really Dippy because it's just as like reds and silver and she's more of like a lavender type person. So instead of going right to, well actually yeah, there's a bank in Meridia, I'll go there. And see if she's got a mantle of the world paper. I know at one point she did. That's the one that you combine it with the, uh, what's his face, the voice for the master's gift, right? I'm not sure what happened to you, but you just got real quiet. Yeah. I just got real what? Quiet. Really? Hmm. Uh, pink salmon would. That would be pink, canned pink salmon. Actually, yeah, I believe the recipe... Right I believe the recipe goes, says either canned pink or red salmon. Uh, who's Bonnie on with? I am on with the same character. Discordette? Does she use a lot of chat? Uh, she was named before I even knew there was such a thing as Discord. Uh, are we doing a lead again? Uh, sure. 
Discord. Discord it. And in I Twitch wanted to be Discordia, but it was already taken. In, in Twitch chat, Wood points out that there's a big difference between pink and red salmon, like butter versus margarine. In defense of this recipe, uh, it doesn't matter. You're still mixing fish with mayonnaise and microwaving it. Um, into a pudding. I don't think it really matters at that point. Okay. We got another donation. Thanks, Axel. Thank you, Axel. Excellent. We have another donation, so time for me to see if I have that cloak. We are playing for Extra Life through the end of the year. So if you want to find out about how you can contribute, you can find a link to the Extra Life page through shroudpalooza.com. And you can find out about the other stuff that we're doing that's related to Shroudpalooza or the schedule for the other Shroudpalooza server events. Basically, we're doing it every other Saturday through the end of the year, ending up on Kenneth's server January 12th. Welcome, welcome. Uh, does anybody want to post a Discord link for anybody who wants to use it? Also, something is weird going on. No, it'll show up if you're actually watching the stream. Even the locations aren't showing up in the LFM panel now. It's under the outstanding invitation requests. I just you know, hear the little ding that somebody is joining. Oh, there's the location showing up. Do you want me to post Welcome. that in the party chat or Twitch chat? Hello again. Hello. Okay. Hello. While we're mustering. Uh, we can talk about some other stuff that we're doing that's not Shroud Palooza related. We can talk uh, about streaming with Even. <laughs> oh yeah, we are going to be running Night Rebels tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Right here on DDO Stream. And at 7 p.m. on DDO Stream, we're going to have D&D &D Night, which is becoming a weekly occurrence. Yes, this, is, yes. this will be the first night since it became weekly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so starting, um, it's that's roughly from like 7 to maybe 10 p.m. I think is the window that we're aiming for. But every Sunday night on DDO's stream, we will be playing tabletop D&D. &D. And the DMs are going to rotate. You have um, uh, Evil Beaker and uh, Patrick of DDO Cast, Portavan is going to be doing some DMing in October. And at some point, I think Evan's going to be DMing. I am going to be DMing on November 18th. Maybe sometime I'll DM if I, if I like, get around to practicing. <laughs> but that's way in the future. That's like, you know, go in the future and, and send a message and then come back and say, yeah, you're going to be DMing in the future. I am not seeing this cloak. This is making me sad. And you can also watch Even DM on Cobalt Kindergarten. Uh, that's like every other Wednesday, maybe? Every other Wednesday at next 10:30 one will be the 17th. On, and you can follow Even on Twitch at uh, DDO underscore Even. Well, thank you, Bonnie. I appreciate the plug. Yeah, well, that's my... the thing is, we can pluck things. <laughs> we we can, can't we? We were given the dispensation to pluck things that aren't necessarily on this channel. Eee, that's power. Don't worry, I shall venture to the shroud and assure Lamania safely. And if you are in Twitch chat and you are not a bot, be sure to type something so that we know that you're there if you want to be eligible for the point code giveaway at the end of the stream. We'll be giving away a 1500 point code for fun and giggles.
Yeah, I would, don't worry. I totally speak tie up. I mean typo. Oh yeah, maybe if I actually let the Hulus populate, maybe people will show up when I... So we have three spots left if you are flagged for Shroud. We don't care what level you are. We don't care if you're Gimpy. We'd rather not, you know, have somebody who's going to brag about how awesome they are, because that's not what this is about. Just, you can still be awesome, though. Awesome people are allowed. Oh, yeah, just don't brag about it. Oh, Elon, we, I totally, totally, totally know about being a princess. And I have a friend who I have not seen on DDO in a very long time. Uh, we have one spot saved. He's switching tunes right now. Oh, so sweet. This will be cool. Like reunion in the house. Right? Well, if you're going to come back and play some DDO, why not do it for Shroud Palooza? This is a great reason to get back into DDO if you have left it. I do like this cloak, just not on Dizzy. She's she's not a bright red type of person. Or elf. Yeah. I mean, she's got lavender hair, she's wearing the Elocator's habiliment. Which someday I want a male dwarf bar or a male hork barbarian, and I want to put this armor on him. Your cloak goes with what Kunoichi is wearing. <gasps> yes. Oh, it does. Yeah, this is totally gone. Yeah, you know, DDO is so fashion now. Well, the DDO player base is very quick because there are already screenshots in the wiki for several of the cloaks, including the middle cloak. That's because cloak fashion is important. This of course, like a pink or purple clo cloak with pretty flowers on it. And maybe glitter, too. I really like that there's a Starfleet guild. Oh, and Starfleet, I like this. They're, they're awesome people, Starfleet. I like this blood scented axe body spray meme, too. It's I, cool. A guild names are awesome. We have somebody from White Lotus Monastery. I the, mean, uh, Dirty Cobalt, that's a great, have great a bunch guild of purple name. In it. In our D&D &D &D night, Wednesday night, our inaugural Cobalt Kindergarten episode, I had my poor adventurers trek for days and days and days down this dusty road, and they got to a tavern, and they went inside, and they got to see a dirty kobold serve a dirty kobold to a dirty kobold. Kobold Workers oh. Union, alright. And Starfleet, got some hey, good hey. here. Hey, no, nah, right it's been a while. This is an even note, in case you didn't know. And hey, Techno Beaver in Twitch chat, that kind of scrolled by me there. I'm actually watching Twitch chat on my tablet, which is kind of like around the corner. I've got to kind of turn my head to see it, so if I don't say hi to you, I'm not ignoring you. I just might not see you. I ignore you. Ooh, there we go. Pixels has an apparently has an annual bath. And then that's how the dirty cobalt beverage is made. <laughs> that is craftsmanship. <laughs> nice bio. Okay, and we got a friend. 
Uh, I have 542. We'll give it till 545, and then we'll go ahead and jump in. Uh, this tune is not good for much besides running around looking pretty, but she will give you nice buffs. Oh, someone named Young Fly is saying, hold that spot, please. I wonder, I wonder what their character name is. A dirty cobalt for you. Zolgrim bought me a dirty cobalt. Thank you. Is somebody in Young Fly hold a spot? Okay, uh. Well, they're, they're, dirty cobalt to they're Young Fly in Twitch chat. I'm not sure what they're going to be in game. Oh, actually, Why? I have somebody else who just requested. Actually, two somebody who just requested. We will be running at least one but more run. But we will definitely do one more run, so young fly hang in there. Welcome, Lagan. Oh, yeah, I've run with you. Yeah, I actually had this... Uh, Lagan was already sending me tells, or I would have held the spot for you, but I will definitely save one for you <laughs> next time, young fly. <laughs> Oh, since I'm actually playing a bard, do I have to sing my buff songs? <gasps> I'm in an off destiny. That's not good. I'm not getting XP for this. I am swapping back to Fate Singer. Not sure if being in an off destiny is really going to matter much. Yeah, but I like having my, my beautiful 51 bard songs so I can buff people up well. And also, this is one of my gimpier tunes, so. I feel like I have grouped oh, hey, with Lagan before. Here. But that might just be like a... I did your feeling. What? A player who is above the quest level limit is in the area. What? Shock and awe. Okay, look at that. Everybody's in. Listen up and gather around, then I'll buff you up so your hit points don't go down. Yeah, Dissy is definitely like Phoebe Buffet's song of the school of uh, singing. I just realized that I do not have... Hang on, I need to get a party chat window set up here. Like, a visible party chat window. So this will just take me a minute while I take out everything that, you know, all the chat that... All the things in the stuff? All the things in the stuff, yeah, because, like... Every so often something in a chat channel or something will show up that is, you know, not PG-13. And it's like, okay, we don't want that. So basically any of my tells. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Your tells yeah, are I always like make sure I level. do not have tells displayed because, say, I'm really not much of a cursor myself, but I don't, you know, other people want to do it, that's fine, I don't mind. So I do have a number of friends who <laughs> do curse a lot. So, yeah, it's not, 
not a great thing to have where everybody can see it. Is it cool if we step forward? Hang on just a sec. I am. Uh, whoop. I wanted to not. You're, you're not a blinking a underline on a computer screen? The cats are starting to wander. Are we ready? Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. Oh, it might help to talk to Quisana, huh? As Quisana fades away, oh, somebody, thank for you. The first challenge of the shroud. Oh, where's my haste? So Kunoichi's put in a bid for a small end of supreme shard. Over a raised day. Anyone else needs one? Please let us know. We. I just cast Raider Shout at nothing, but it was fun. Screaming at the universe. Hellcat Hunter. Oh, fancy balls aren't as fun when everything is dead before you can even get them cast. Yeah, there's a lot of killing efficiency here. Whee! I'm just gonna jump around and have fun! Oh, I lost my fancy ball icon. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Gee, I haven't played her in a while. At least you haven't said anything like, where is my face? That, that, would, that would be a little awkward. Oh, oh like my face is my best feature. Yeah, absolutely. I've never had a crack that. over my face. Where was. is it? it? It's like on the front of my head. I mean, right? I think. Yeah, just in case the valley goes, <laughs> like, warning you ahead of time. Is that like Arthur in the tick? Not in the face, not in the face? Kill things. That was so cool. Boom. If you haven't seen it, the uh, Amazon Prime did a reboot of the tip, and it is brilliant. Is it quite good? Does it, it have full quite, voice? It is quite spoon. Do you like? Do you give it uh, four tacos up? <laughs> four tacos up. Well, it's not gonna be three tacos. Well, what's the scale here? Are we talking out of three or out of five? Well, of I would say two tacos up to be a play on the two thumbs up, but two taco is is certainly not enough for any purpose. No, no, two tacos is not enough, and whoever decided that three was enough is three uh, isn't enough either. No, so that's why I said four tacos because I thought that's the lowest number that is presumably enough tacos. Conceivably enough. Yes, Conceivably uh, enough tacos. Then in that case, yes, it gets four tacos up. Oh my god, I like kill stuff. I'm like the tip battle bard. Oh my god! Is, is it a reboot of the original animated or is it a reboot of the live action? Uh, it's more of a reboot of the live action one. Okay, because the live action one with uh, Patrick Burton, even though it was very short lived, was still very funny. Oh, yes, this is. They've done, I think, 12 episodes? And it is, I think it's 12. It might have gone up to, to 18. But, uh, absolutely brilliant. I cannot wait for the next season. I think one of my favorite episodes in the animated series was the one with Thrakazog. Oh, Morag Moraga says, says season 2 is coming out shortly. Does anyone need the shard beside Kunoisi? Season 2 is coming out shortly, I think. No, yes! I have more shards than I will ever need. The altar of the waiting room shimmered. No problem. You arrive in the hollow of a tree. Mighty marble walls seem to grow from the lush green grass. The gateway is blocked by powerful magic. Its source is somewhere within this maze. Everybody. 
Sometimes I just get mesmerized watching the stream and then I forget that, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing things too! Oh yeah, I'm on this! I'm running up to right. my fancy balls. And after the very first run where I felt like I needed to do a lot of catch up, like getting names down and stuff and doing housekeeping, I think it's gone pretty smoothly since then. Found a kitty. Oh, kitty! Somebody up there pulling them. There's a kitty chasing people. Yep. Uh, who's uh, Fulgrin? You want to be on Crystal? Or Cyan? Yeah, here they come. Or Ligon? I didn't see that you were a ranged or a melee ranger. I mean, I can apply some hurt to it. I don't know if this has enough range damage to take it down in one shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Because I haven't changed anything, it just suddenly got... Oh, my chat room just reset, so I may have missed your Twitch chat. Yeah, you're all pretty low. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me just uh, go into my Discord settings and see what's up with that. I'm gonna stand here and play game for a bit. Oh, the cat died first. No bueno. That's weird for the sound to suddenly drop, you know? Before I just wait then until... Uh, is that any better? I can hear you. Discord hasn't changed oh. for me. I think in game it's still quiet. Yeah, they killed the cat first. Well, Kitty got there. And... Hey, Edward, welcome. Hey, the fire elemental is, is still right here. In a, all right, so yeah, I don't know why it would suddenly drop like that. That was strange. Oops. Don't kill the cat. Well, mistakes happen. Uh, you know, we're doing this to have fun. We are not going to get mad at anybody for making mistakes. That's not what we're doing this for. No, it's just that the cat was the only one here and they killed it. Well, things happen. I know. I will hang out with Crystal. I'm gonna put up another pretty sparkly dancey ball. Oh, great. Adarnock likes me. Maybe I won't hang out with a Crystal. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny! I'll come get Adarnock. Oh, and okay. somebody's chasing trolls, too. Wait, why is the troll going that way? Oh, it's chasing you. Oh, That's wait. Why. Something was chasing. I had aggro. I didn't even hit anything. Oh, wait. Uh, why does the troll like me now? Ah, oh, trolls. Oh, you're just so likable, Bonnie. That's all. Hi, yeah, Edward. Thanks for joining. Oh, I got stunned. <laughs> oh, man. I got two generals whooping on me. Two, Leonard, two lieutenants. Come on, lieutenants. Come this way. It's much more fun. Look, we have dancey balls. Now we have a lot of people in the crystal. Okay, wait. Let's run back. Let's... Yeah. Troll came back to the crystal. Hey, yeah, let's get, try to get stuff away from the crystal before we kill it. Okay, well, I have a little troll friend, so I'll be friends with him. Did we drop something? Oh, uh, we killed the troll, so here goes the orc. Uh, I don't know the what other the things. other- the fire- I don't know what the other- Kill, kill, kill! Kill, kill, kill! Crystal bear stole it. Yay! There we go. Hooray! We made it! We made it! Beyond this valley lies the site of your previous conquest. Sheep. I would like to point out at this point that 
last run, Bonnie said it was super smooth. Well, I was surprised because the thing is, the thing <laughs> is, I expected all of them to be a little bit tricky because we're so overpowered. Because I think that that makes this part the most difficult part of the whole raid because people do so much damage, they're more likely to accidentally kill something. The gateway this is true. I was just pointing out that you were jinxing us, that's all. I, I would have jinxed us I if it took us like three tries. the portal. Are right we auto solve again? What? Seriously? Oh, it's did auto they not solve fix again! The puzzles yet? What is... It's like the game doesn't want us to rain you. <laughs> oh, priceless. Well, still, the wall comes up and we don't put water in, right? You know, if this had happened... No, you can put water in now. All the puzzles yeah. are done. Yeah, we just wouldn't put water in. And but I mean, the wall, the wall will still, come, still up. come up if we don't put water in, even if it's Yeah, solved. right. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. it'll still come up. Um. Okay, so we can still rain view. At least, I mean, if, if we hadn't actually gotten puzzles to solve the first time, I would have thought this is a bug. There's got to be something weird happening, though. Yeah. To get this many. That is... Indeed, strange. It's dwarf magic. Either that, or we've become like Shroud Illuminati. No, you know what it is? We mentioned the fish pudding. And the puzzle is or... like, oh gross, I'm just going to solve myself so I don't have to eat that stuff. Like, or like... That is not going in my fountain. <laughs> or maybe like, no, Harry's our friend. Harry's he's like, like it's okay. well, Harry strikes me as someone who might eat the fish pudding. And maybe he's like, ah, oh, I'm gonna get these puzzles solved for them, and maybe they'll bring me some of that. Mm, yeah. I... I mean, Everybody's I definitely so fast see... with the water. I like, what? I can definitely see Harry eating fish pudding. Now, this one doesn't look yeah, solved. Definitely. Oh, there's one not solved? Well, the lights aren't on. But they aren't, they aren't, um, reactive either. Ouch! Oh, that hurt. This one's like that too. Yeah, I feel like something weird got introduced in the last update to these puzzles. I've had it happen since about... I want to say... Tethyamar is when it really started. Oh, really? Cause, cause, yeah, I haven't done a lot of shrouds um, in the past year. I've been working on my my good old insane year and a half. <laughs> so yeah, Tethermere did come out after I stopped doing a ton of shrouds. It's so what's your, weird. What's your insane checklist there, Thalgrim? Uh, basically, I have a checklist of I have 21 different alts on home server, and I just got tired of having my tunes TRing while they were unprepared, so I made a checklist for everyone, uh, which means everyone has to have an unsuppressed ion stone, at least one temple of elemental evil weapon. Uh, what else do we have? A uh, shard of great power going once, going twice. Nobody wants it. It's going to pixels. Uh, roll D99 high, Fiang. Unsuppressed Iron Stone, Temple of Elemental Evil Weapon, Green Steel, Jack Jibber's Blade, a Mysterious Bobble, Wings, a Magic Missile Solution, Teleporter, Draconic Soul Gem, Orcish Boots, a Master's Gift, and a Completed Abbot Sigil. Oh, okay. Uh, Pixel's wow. got one, so I will pass this one to Fiang. It's in the left-hand chest for you. That's pretty insane, all right, because I think I've pulled exactly one Iron Stone in all of my time of playing. Oh, well, if you do the Dreaming Dark, you're, uh, after every third completion, you're guaranteed an Iron Stone, and you get a chance to get one uh, after every completion. So if you, you can't actually go actively farm them. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I actually pulled one relatively early on uh, when I first started playing. It was like my third tune, and it was out on Irestone Inlet, and I had no idea what it was. 
I pulled one when road. I was new. I pulled a uh, dusty pink one, and I had no idea what it was, but it looked really pretty. Okay, let's have yes, some, some bard muffiness. Come listen to my songs, and then your hits won't go wrong. It doesn't work if it's not in Cobalt. But she's an elf. Uh, alternately, uh, I've heard rumors that songs have uh, greater efficacy if they are done in very white. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bear songs are best songs. Bear songs. <laughs> We're finally getting together, baby. I I don't know if I can stop laughing long enough to do Barry White. Oh, this is too much. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> I like, do happen to have a couple of Barry White CDs around here somewhere. Hey, Grimaldius, welcome. Yeah, basically I was doing Cobalt Voice on the stream one night, and somebody started talking about Barry White, and so I just, off the top of my head, kind of did Cobalt Barry White, and it was glorious or horrendous, depending upon your point of, view, point of view. Kind of like fish pudding. It, it, it yeah. was a, a thing. <laughs> it, it can be both. They're not- they're not mutually exclusive. Oh, this is not a good time for me to be looking away from the screen, is- oh, okay. I could be just standing in a wall of blades, you know? No biggie! We're fine. This is fine. That was it. Toad's fine. Everything's fine. No worries. I don't know if he's online. But I'm bumped. I know where you were going with that. <laughs> oh yeah, even needs that green reaper armor and cloak. That is pretty awesome. And it will look so nice with her hair. Thanks, I made them myself. Oh, I has Discordette <laughs> killed a vampire? The trip to um, the last well, she's been through be orchards, so I'm sure at some point she has. Not Jeez, I have not run Stra uh, Strahd yet, though. I don't think. Oh, hey, she's got four kills. So, Good to see. So, does that mean you're Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Uh, oh! Don't have me trying to hit the center. I miss it every time. Do we have a, a first-timer? By any chance, I'm guessing probably not. Well, if this is my hundredth time, probably. I think I'm good enough to hit it so we don't die. I vote you try then. Go for it! Go for it! Do it. There. We're Trust still alive. <laughs> Tickled oh a little. God. I thought I finally had it. Well, just proves that practice does not make perfect. I noticed, I know. but I wasn't going to say anything. I didn't want you to be embarrassed. Well, I mean, it's just there. It was a good try, though. Thank you very much. No crustacean shaming. <laughs> Uh, they're all drunken crabs too, aren't they? Drunken crabs. If anybody wants a party buff, speak up. Yeah, 
uh, Cornerback and I were actually talking, chatting about that a little bit on the on the craft, and he, I think he said they might be thinking about redoing the animation for the crabs. They won't necessarily be completely sideways, but like maybe have an angle. Ah. Oh. Uh-huh. They're wobbly. Yeah, and the whole uh, drunken crab uh, reference is, is is referencing an old Benny uh, Benny Hill sketch where they did something on Jacques Cousteau uh, parody. It was, it was actually pretty funny. Yeah, Good job. Anybody want to leave without getting the completion? Okay, that was lagtastic. <laughs> lagtastic, yeah. Taste filling lags great. Okay, nobody seems to be leaving, so clicking the altar in three, two, one. Also, as far as beating them up, anytime, uh, Mirage is Wait, did we do... I thought we did... Oh, okay. Wow. Took the test a while to show up again. I'm thinking, wait, there should be more chests. I know, this is... It's throwing me off this whole delayed appearance of those two chests. Even when you open them, the loot seems to be loading slowly. Isn't this the best part of adventuring? I wondered why my sentient weapon had been so quiet. And I realized just like when we went through the portal and died at inventory pool that it's because I accidentally equipped something else. I'm not sure I've pulled any shards since the first run. I think I've only pulled one. I hate to do this little crap, but I already have you in my inventory. Oh wait, I need these two I to get my end reward. So what other pets do I have on the server? Well, I outkilled Bulgren anyway. Oh, that's easy to do. <laughs> Mari! Get your Mari! Here. Did you Mari? see Mari? Mari McMillan is in the chat. Are you <gasps> get your butt in here? I don't think she's on the server, is she? Oh, that's a good point. Do you, Let's see her on Argo, or Wayfinder. <gasps> IQE for Mari! Yeah, we will be running Shroud Palooza on all the servers, so... Ooh, a Devil's Keepsake. Alright, well, that's my sister, everybody. Okay, gotta take... Taking the poor man's teleport back to the airship, and... <sighs> um, I know you're trying your best, but that really hurts! I love this sentient weapon. Ah, I know you're trying your best, but that really hurt! She's so... positive. She is, she's just like so happy and upbeat. Uh, I'm going to swap tunes again, and... We've definitely got time for at least one more run. You have so many people flagged for Shroud. I've got 20 tunes just on my main account, just on Thelonis. This I next one will be get, our last run. I wanted to get my free-to-play alt flagged, but I just ran out of time, which is a shame. I wanted. She still needs the coal running and dust, and I just didn't have time. Okay, who do I want to bring? Oh! Because this will probably be the last one. Who wants to rain view? Oh, we aren't rain viewing. Oh, Why does this always have all servers? Silver, did I ever flag Tuna for Shroud? I'm kind of thinking I did, but I'm not 100% sure. I feel like I played with Tuna at some point on this server. I think, but well, I can't remember what we were doing. If she's not flagged, I'll switch to somebody else. She's 21. She sh should be flagged. This is my dwarf 
barbarian raised by orcs. So, she's a bit colorful. In a totally different way than Dissy, although she does have glowy purple eyes that Dissy envies completely. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is with the alt servers. The only pet besides the Reaperlings I'm missing here is the Tabby Cat. I get on Galanda, where I never run. I pull a Tabby Cat. BAM! <laughs> I log on my favor farming alt on Sarlona, and roll her daily dice, and I get 16,000 XP, a plus 6 con tome, and a dusty air elemental. Okay, barbarian here, smash all the things! <coughs> uh, you guys done what? Three, three runs, four runs. We've done three runs. Yes, this will be run number four. Completed Eldritch device tutorial. So yes, I am. Oh, she's actually run shroud. Cool. So obviously she is flagged. Alan Lee says thanks for it. Thanks guys, that's it for me tonight. Hope you all had fun. We did. I've had fun. I've had having a blast. Thanks for joining us. Are you leaving us, Fulgrim? No, Aelin, we did. Oh, I missed that. I'm sorry. Everything's been going well so far. It has. Uh, I need to get an LFM up. A solid yellow cloak. What cloak is that? It's a banana cloak. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to get an elephant up. I'd rather have a banana split. And immediately after this run, we'll do the drawing for the point code. Yes, yes, stay tuned. We are giving away DDO points. One of the people who have either run Trout with us in, in one of these four runs, or one of the people who has chatted in Twitch, will win a 1500 DDO point code. Ah, uh, Comic, I'm looking for you. I'm not seeing you on the guild list. What tune are you bringing? No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't bringing a tune. Um, I know. Oh. I'm. I'm just. I, I ran the first one. And I figured I'd step aside and let uh, other people who haven't run it run it. And I'm just kind of watching you guys on Twitch having a good old time. So. Oh. I feel bad. I did not even realize. I, I keep hearing you talk, and I didn't even realize you weren't in the party. I said, <laughs> "Oops." <laughs> yeah, no worries. I don't multitask well. I know. See, you see what it's like. Ah, uh, did I get all my? It's like, oh, now you now you, want, now you know what it's like. And plus, like, I am running on no sleep because that intro video. I like stayed up all freaking night making that. That was so cool. It's oh, like, wow, oh, wow, we have an intro video. Yeah, but don't you generally stay up all freaking night anyways? I Not nearly the way I used to. And not usually like all oh, freaking night like I did last night. I mean, you are three hours ahead of you, and I, I, I go to bed around 11, and I know you're still up. 11 by time, and I know you're still up, so. Mm, not always, but a lot. Oh, I missed your earlier invitation. Oh. I'm in, I'm in the party now, but, like, I'm just... Oh, I don't I just, read I the just, good. I just uh, invited you again anyways. Welcome. Hey, hey, thanks. Good luck, you'll be here in a second. Oh, very cool. Yep. Uh, 
So when you do get a chance, even people are still wondering what cloak oh, you're wearing. What cloak that's solid well, I, gold. I've already been out of cloak here. Uh, so give people a view of it. So that is a pretty cloak. That is the Jewish cloak. I can the still barely Harold. hear you. Oh, I wonder why. Because I mean, I was okay earlier, wasn't I? Uh, that is the heroic elite. Jewish no, cloak. you were still pretty low. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I have everything crack cranked up. Welcome. Hey. Oh, and apparently... Yeah, I just turned everything up. I'll just have to turn everybody else's down as they speak. Apparently, I preemptively bought <laughs> a Fiendling Companion Certificate on Sorlona. So... I'll be giving that away too to the people who, <laughs> amongst the people who have joined us today on Sarlona. Because I already have one, as you can see, running around with me, named Shroud Palooza. That is a great name. Yeah, I have all my voice settings cranked way, way up. I don't know why. I In the beginning of the stream, I was okay, wasn't I? Uh, you were always a bit quiet in the party chat, from what I recall, but, um, you know, it could have just been me, too. <gasps> I do not have a pet out. I must have been running with abs. <gasps> yes! Okay, we, we must fix this immediately. And I think I should definitely, I think I should definitely run with a, uh, little pit fiend, because, you know. I want to bring oh, yeah. the crabs back out. I mean, the best thing to do is run the Pit Fiend with Ab. Why not? So, if you want to be eligible for the point giveaway in um, of that only Twitch chat, well. be sure to type something so that we know that you exist and you're real. Uh, Mari, I am. I am missing the Tabby Cat and the Reaperlings. I, my alt itis, I will probably never get the Reaperlings because I will probably never run one tune to 2.5 million Reaper XP, but you never know. And the Scarecrow, which is supposed to be, or I thought, in the reward list for Night Rebels, but is not. Did you already get all the, the, the crayfish? I have all the crayfish. I am still missing oh, one crayfish uh, trick. Well, Slippery Bees exists! That is such a great name, Slippery Bees. Welcome back. It is. I'm very excited that Slippery Bees exists. Over here, we actually call them crawdads as opposed to crayfish, but yeah, potato, potato. Slippery Bees is vastly superior to the Sticky Bees. Yes, very true. Not to be confused. Or the Bees of Zoria. The bees of Zoriat. Welcome. Those are the owie bees. Well. Bye, Mari. I will QE for you. Please join us on Argo when we do Shopalooza Argo or Wayfinder. Yes, we Bring will along be the on minions. Wayfinder in th six weeks because it's every other week. Yeah. Yeah, November seventeenth, we will be on Wayfinder. Come bring the minions. Yes, bring the um, minions. And then we'll be on Argo on December first. Welcome. But coming up, two weekends from now, Shroud Blues is going to hit Sarlona on October 20th. So if you're on Sarlona, get ready! And she says to tweet her. Oh, we can definitely tweet you. So for those uh, other people who are as confused as I am, can somebody tell me what... AFK, one means? second. Grab me a copy. Um, you know when you target something and then use it in the game? Okay, yeah. The shortcut is to Q to look around and identify targets, and then E to use. Gotcha. Cool, thanks. So I used to do everything manually, and Mari McMillan pointed out that I could just QE stuff, and since then I've been QEing for Mari. So that's pretty much what I say whenever Mari appears, QE for Mari. Hey, like, when Lulgren appears, we, guy I say me. a wild Lulgren appears. This, this big metal guy keep poking door. 
Stop pokeming me. <laughs> help. 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 I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Ow! Quit it. Ow! Quit it. Wow! Someone named Smash all the dwarves! It's, smash, smash, it's smash! It's smash. like... Especially the metal dwarves! Smash, smash! The character named the tickets like somebody's been watching the stream and then like spontaneously flagged her shroud and then joined because we uh, were talking I just about them. Accepted. There we go. Okay, we are full, and this will be our last run of the day. So, uh, oh shoot, you know I should have. I I want to run tuna, but I was thinking I should bring a tune with the jibbers, and that way we could rain view and still get the completion. Oh no, we aren't gonna rain view. Oh, we're not going to rain view? No, we're only going to rain view um, if people donated enough. Oh. Otherwise, see, the only time we're going to rain view is the very last one. And then you would get to see us all die in the rainbow wall. Otherwise, <sighs> uh, the only time we're going to rain view otherwise is the very last shroud we run over entire Shroudpalooza, which is going to be when we are on cannon. Well, definitely Shroudpalooza, the very last run on cannon. But otherwise, people have to donate, 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 donate to Extra Life. And if you donate to Extra Life, then maybe we'll unlock some prizes. I vote thing to our donate uh, rewards that if we get enough to do the rain view, that even will grace us with singing somewhere over the rain view in Barry White. I so like if okay if we like hit one thousand when we hit one thousand in donations I will sing somewhere over the rainbow in Barry White Cobalt voice. I was gonna say it has to be Cobalt Barry White. We are open to suggestions. I'm not sure how Cobalt Barry White would even work. Yeah, alternately I suppose okay. you could do she's a rainbow or, or rainbow. She's a rainbow. She comes in colors. Okay, everybody is here. Did I pick up the quest? I did, I did pick not. up the quest. I'm, I'm picking it up Can now. Let me find my timer. Wait, do we have a timer? I have a bypass if someone needs one. Cool, cool. Who needed one? I got one. I just had to find it. Uh, one of my guildmates gave me some. Cool. It was just buried in the mist. I don't usually run this character that often. Pretty much I get it to be old status. <laughs> okay, dwarf, gimpa me. Dwarf probably gonna die. Oh, that's okay, dwarf. Dwarf oh, not no. want to die because a big tin dwarf pokeming me. Cobalt gonna die! Dwarf like buffs a lot. A tree. Hey, Don Pope, thank you. Our run has been going pretty well so far, but this is by far the gimpiest tune I've had on Shroud Palooza so far. Wait, wait, so it's gimpier than the Bard? The Bard is level 30. The Barb is level 21. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to play on your twist screen again. <laughs> Been there, done that, didn't get very far. Why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? I keep finding it so messed up right now. I was like, I can't adjust the camera. Oh my gosh. I want to zoom out. Smash troglomodite. Smash all the troglomodite. Smash, 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 smash. Kill. What? I know. Good, right, but we, we and 
ending on a high note. I, I met my quota. Smash the portal. Smash, smash, smash. Tuna if you're watching, if you're watching. Nerves, but I love her. If you're watching on a delay, and you're interested in learning more about the Extra Life campaign, you can find out everything and links to all the stuff, fun. including <laughs> the Eric Contest, but where we'll basically like, take anything that's artistic. Are you guys using a different, like, voice chat or something? using Discord? Not that that sounds desperate or anything. Yeah, we <laughs> are using <laughs> Discord, Discord, Discord and party chat, and I do I'll not do know that. why my voice suddenly went much lower. I've checked my Discord settings and my DDO party chat settings, and I can't find anything that's different. So. Well, I did put up. There should be a space uh, between the little D and the big D. Chat, uh, here, so I'm gonna actually wow. email that in just for you. I yeah. thought of it something. If you have a shroud palooza tycoon, yes, by all means, email that to the to General Eratricos at shroudpalooza at gmail. I killed another something. He's waiting for his minions to send entries to the art contest. You can make up, a, if you have a lot of minis, like some people, I you can make a no diorama of some about. shroud theme, you know, montage. And take a picture of it and send it to the general. If you, you have li little ones, make a Lego diorama of the shroud. Yeah, if you have a little one, you could do like a, a finger painting of the prismatic wall. <gasps> I want to do that anyway. Or hey, even Duplo Bee. Box. That, that we is a great name, Slippery Bee. Yeah. We were saying that we were hoping that, that Judy is crocheting us some D&D &D kind of figures. Because that's super cool. I have some crocheted owlbears that... Um, that Zealotry on oh, the you know made something? for me. I can actually use this shard of power on the tune. Who's, who's, who's the uh, uh, forum uh, person that does all <laughs> those cakes? Somebody does cakes? Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen like a, a, I think it was like a beholder Shady cake and a, and a cobalt cake or something like Man, that. I can't remember. If somebody cobalt did a cobalt cake, cake they would cobalt win. Cake? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I would like probably buy them a point code just for that. I would, I would just cry, and I would laugh, and I would squeal. There you go. There's a shard in there for you. Oh, thank you. Let me pop back up here. Where am I going? I am going to the right place. Oh, two shards. Thank you, whoever passed me two shards. Yeah, she's... I haven't checked her quest completions, but I don't think she's run very much shroud. For those of you that don't know... You can also that use those like for a, a uh, crafting and, and a ticket slot. Yep. Smash all your summons! Smash, smash, smash! Which is pretty handy. Smash all the barba mazoos! Smash, smash, smash! I think, what other ways can people be artistic without being able to draw? You can I mean, if you can you draw, can, I mean, by all means, sing, submit something. You can something. write, you can knit or crochet, or like something like modeling clay, or, or wood carving, or... You could cut out things from a magazine and yes. do decoupage. Yes. Make a Play-Doh Harry. Yeah. A Play-Doh Harry, yeah. Take a picture. And honestly, yeah. if it's Doesn't fun, it? we don't care if it's, if it's all that good. Yeah, creativity yeah, and enthusiasm Rock, Ellie, Cobol, are the watchwords for art contests. Yeah. And, you don't uh, have to be like Picasso or anything. Or Van Gogh. Then have to be a cake and be cookies and be whatever. Oh, there you go. Make a ransom note to return Harry to Shavrath with magazine letters. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I don't want to return him though. But you can sure you can send her a ransom letter. <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell you, if somebody made me a cobalt cake, I would definitely be voting for their entry. If somebody wanted to kidnap Melicia, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I wouldn't mind kidnapping Malicia. Okay, Malicia is Bonnie's main rival for Harry's heart. Yeah. Yeah, Harry spends too much time with Malicia. I'm jealous. Is it Malicia or Malicia? I say Malicia. I say Malicia. What about Lyrilith? You can't be fond of her either. Who am I not fond of? Lyrilith from Todd. Next time, save me harder. I do so very much want to be saved. Oh, I think of her as being an illusion, though. 
Yeah, but remember, I mean, the reason they're so mad at Harry is because he and Lyrilis did the nasty and then she went and blabbed to Horus. Oh, yeah. Arya, I hate her too. You can kidnap her too. <laughs> Yay! Smash all the bad guys! Smash Good job! So, the puzzles are solved this time. I'm gonna take it as and a sign that Harry loves me. I'm gonna take it as a sign of the power Better of Better action than before, though, right? And if you have not been in the stream long enough to know what fish pudding is, consider yourself lucky. Yeah, if yeah, you don't you know, what, do fish know what fish pudding is... Fish pudding is. It's for the best if you don't know what fish pudding is. So I know I I'm getting I feel fortunate. Why is my computer opening folders? This is weird. Give me a sec. Of course, you can always, you know, rewatch the uh, the stream and find out what fish pudding is. The gateway to the next of the giants. I still can't recommend before you though. So is it gonna be an auto solve? Want to take any bets? It is. Okay, clearly, what? Clearly, it's glitched. Harry three loves me. Four? It's, no, wait, three? No, we we actually three. did the first the first, one, the first one we actually first had one we did. We did do the first one, but I had a five by five, which is my absolute worst uh, puzzle because I haven't practiced it enough, and it was a very simple one. I just walked it through, and boom, it was it was very very quickly. Completed. Yeah, like the puzzle I had oh, only took like two go. touches. Just, somebody help pixels. Oh, I definitely want to grind Night Rebels, even once that green armor and green cloak. I'm a little bummed that we haven't had puzzles to do. That's one of my favorite things. Like the best part. Like the best part. Yeah. And I'm going to have to, like, tell Draculetta about this whole puzzles being solved thing, because I think he wants to get on this. He doesn't like puzzles, so, like, if Shroud didn't have puzzles... I think that ups Shroud game. And if he doesn't believe you, you've got video proof. I got How video proof. In a row, what are the odds? That's like 75% chance you won't have to do puzzles. I haven't seen I haven't it, seen like, it like, not be auto not solved, be auto for, like, solved for, like, months. for several months. That's crazy. They need Here's to do class, something about that. I like the puzzles. I wonder what affected it. Bulgrim was saying since Mines of Tethmir was introduced, it's been a problem. And wraps. Hand wraps? <laughs> Is that serious or like, because no, I mean, we can blame anything on hand wraps, really. Yeah, exactly. I would believe you. Maybe, maybe there's a dev in stealth mode that just, you know, flips a little switch for you. Oh. Mm, maybe. Ooh. Shroud Illuminati is real. Linabelle, are you watching? Is because the very, first, the very first auto solve we ever got, uh, Linabelle wasn't running with us, but she was in our Discord chat chatting along with us. Uh, Lord Silverhand and I, we were too many, Shroud, weren't we? Or did we have more people? And we got an auto solve. And Linabelle was like, oh, I've never seen one in all the Shrouds I've run. And Linabelle has run a freaking lot of Shrouds. And we were so happy we got it on the stream. Yay, a shot of great power! And so I will definitely have to send this to him and say, Hey, look! Three out of four auto solves. In a row! I'm a little I'm annoyed by the line. I was farming for them. Ooh, I, I need to spell. <laughs> just got every once in a while. I just pasted the extra live link in chat. And, uh, yeah, if you're in chat and you want to get in on the point drawing and you haven't spoken in chat yet or typed in chat, I guess you can't speak in chat really. You have to, like, type words, letters. It's a, I don't, metaphysically, whatever. But if you haven't contributed to chat yet, do so because we're going to do the drawing for the point code very soon. Hi, CZZ Bard. I don't know if all that CZZ Bard is the right way to say it, but this is Bard. <laughs> I shouldn't even try to pronounce stuff I don't know how to pronounce. The portal to the 
knowledge of the full moons shimmers into existence. Smash all the devil balls, smash, smash, smash. A small devil scouting force has beaten you to this ancient place. Tuna is totally gonna get a sentient jewel of the furious. Oh, you better believe it. I need to get my swashbuckler a sentient sentient weapon because I have a uh, sentient jewel of the wave waiting for her, and I hear that that is a pirate, a singing pirate, which, you know, she's a swashbuckler, so. We have peanuts, peanut soup McMuffin in Twitch chat, which I think kind of goes along with our whole fish pudding peanut uh, conversation soup today. That's a nice name. It, it does sound, well, actually, peanut soup McMuffin sounds better than fish pudding. But it, it kind of sounds oh, Pidgeo the on Barb brand. Pidgeo the Barb on the Barian. Think of a you. She worships Cargon in case you couldn't tell from the way she talks. <laughs> Peanut soup McMuffin sounds like the appetizer that's served before the fish pudding. Is that what you have for the fish pudding? Yeah. Before. That's ex that's understandable. It's got to be something to, to kind of gum up the palate before you have that fish pudding. You don't want your, like, taste buds completely unclogged when you have fish pudding. <laughs> right, you would right, have it. Yeah, you kind of do, actually, but... <laughs> you would have the peanut soup McMuffin. You need to, you need to brace it and then prepare it. Ah, uh, big, probably a good idea to lick some sandpaper before you have that fish pudding, too. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it gets in all the orifices and crevices. I was thinking more, you want to, like, get rid of your taste buds? You want to shear them off before you have the fish pudding? <laughs> Actually, I would think you'd want to get them out of all your uh, orifices and whatnot. Fish pudding orifices. I know I've heard the Talk Like a Pirate Day song at some point. Barba Mabarian strength damage? Barbara Barbarian got Devil Chills disease. The trip to the last While we're on songs, has anyone heard the potted meat food product song? Trust in you mean like spam, 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 spam? No, no, there's a potted meat food song, which includes such genius lines. As, it's made from all the best parts of cow and tripe. Uh, made from all the best parts of cow like tripe and beef hearts. So yeah. get up off your feet and have a can of potted meat. Ew. My wrath will burn all of and, and you wash it down with meat water? Is that how this works? <laughs> meat water? You never oh, Google it. It is a thing. I don't know. Part of me sitting here going, mm, meat water. <laughs> My old roommates used to think I was insane because I would drink the pickle water. Ew. I don't know if that's the only reason they thought you were insane. I give tuna water to my cat. Tuna water. They're quite fond of it. There are such things as canned whole chickens. Uh, that, that's, yeah. Yikes! Smash, sir, we're not the smash, smash, smash! Barb dance naked on alter now. Naked. Tito, we're up for anybody that wants to leave. My eyes, my eyes. If anybody rolled for shard and they missed it, you can always go back. Dancey Barba Mabarian. I got pretty be glowy purple my eyes. Yeah, but she lost your clothes in that little ordeal, it looks like. You make fun of Barba Mabarian without clothes him as Barba Mabarian smash 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 you. Promises, promises. 
Oh yeah, tuna water, slippery beef, salmon water, cats are... Sure you hadn't been drinking that tuna water yourself? No, as a matter of fact, My I cats had a love it too. Tuna, tuna and egg for lunch today, and I drained all of the juice off the tuna. <laughs> yeah, I gave it to my cat too. Gave it to the cat. She well, loves I it. have two indoor and two outside strays that I feed. For some reason, the indoor cats only like the juice, and they will not eat the actual tuna. So I just give it to Mine them first. Mine are the same way. They lick up all the juice, and then I take the actual tuna to the outside cats. I mean, they're strays. They're like, wow. It's Christmas! Yeah. But see, it works out great for me because I like to tune in the cats like the water, so it works out great. I'll put the link in the video stream chat for if you are interested in hearing the potted meat food product song or adding it to your MP3 player like I have. By the way, I will roll on Supreme Shards if anybody gets any, and I don't. And who. I, I'm. Barba Mabarium Bizami Dansaming. Somebody else can pull the Altimer. The altar of the lost comes to life, pulling the final lunar body into perfect eclipse. Lamania will rightfully be manifest with the day of Barba's good dancer. What can I say? She was raised by orcs. Well, I mean, look at my I mean, we're talking about I mean, I call this tune Tuna, so. Her name is Nituna, but I call her Tuna for short. Wolf not dance good as Barba Mabarian. Does anyone know which of the portals leads to Phase 4? So they, the, those that had their... Uh... The one over here. Um, the Waxing Moon. It'll take you to Part 3. You'd have to run through to Part 4, but it's not a very long run. And I guess now I should talk about the giveaway stuff. Oh, thank you for the Supreme Shard, whoever put that in there for me. Oh, I do want to say that we hit the first goal on the Extra Life at, at $500. And for that, I sent a, I emailed a code to the winner of that drawing earlier today. Um, using the email that they put on their Extra Life donation. So Scarlet Kitty won a 1500 um, point code that was donated by DDO players. Yay, and Scarlet Kitty. for the stream today, out of all the people who participated, we had 45 people totally who participated. And the person who won is CZZ Bard. So I'm gonna um, mail that in Twitch right now. Barbara Mabarian danced naked on Ultimer to celebrate. Congratulations to the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. Is it still naked if you have your cloak showing? No. But it's close. I don't know how to unshow it on the paper doll with that. Oh. Nope, I'm clicking. Uh, oh, because I don't have a cosmetic cloak. Yeah. You know, you can still, it, it, you see the outline of the cloak down by your feet, yes, you can still I'm click that. Yes, and and there's part. nothing in there, and it's not it doing anything. It might be because you're still in the middle, or in the middle of an animation. Maybe. Nope, nope, I'm still clicking it, I am not animating, and it's not coming off. You and okay. Barbara Mabarian stop dancing. For nothing. Mine does not. If you watch the stream, you will be able to see me clicking my cloak slot, and nothing happening. Uh, well, I will in a few seconds anyways. Oh, actually, there might be a problem. How do you, uh, can I actually mail because we're not, I don't run this channel. I might need CZZ Bard to, like, contact me with information about what player they are and what server. So I know where to mail the code. Oh, I was totally clicking the wrong thing. Oops. Also, I can't remember which one of these armors I had on. Probably this one. Yep. Was 
library knocks shot so hard? That doesn't seem right. I liked my pretty banana cloak. Bananama. Fun. I can't wait to do it on Sarlona in a couple of weeks. Oh, if you have a Supreme, yes, by all means, I can use one more Supreme. I did already get that one, though, so if someone else didn't get one and needs it, or if you just want to have it, like, roll on it. But not Diana Ross. Womp womp. <laughs> the pineal gland. <laughs> uh, that hurt. Hey, you know, just trying to keep up with you, Holbrook. <laughs> You're gonna have to eat a lot more tacos. Alright, I just messaged or I just whispered CZZ Bard with the point code. So congratulations! Yes, and thank you for being here. This was a lot of fun. Yes, thank you for every thank you to everybody who's joined us. Four or five runs we got in. Was that uh CZZ Bard, that would be Bonnie Bew that you would need to whisper. Uh, we got in four runs, and out of those four runs, we had three auto solves. Four runs and eleven minutes to spare. Yep, I was gonna say, you have run time for a partial run. I have partial runs in the yeah. bathroom. Oh, never say oh, okay, run around And <laughs> you thought mine was. <laughs> Couldn't go the entire time without making at least. Well, if one you're off. talking about runs, it sounds like you could go a little too often. Oh, oh God, now, now, now he's rubbing up on me. <laughs> 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 Hopefully not literally, because that would really be gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. I do oh, have you dear. on record saying that you preferred my drawing without pants. Well, only because I could see, you know, Bonnie drew Thorgrin <laughs> being burned alive by Harry. Or, no, it was Vila. It made... It was Vila, Vila, yeah. And without the pants, you could see the legs the getting burnt better. Night has drawn it made you look more like a French girl. I mean, like one of your French <laughs> girls. <laughs> French dwarves. French dwarves. Oh, wow. That would, that, would be, that would be the underdark dwarves, the Jurger. They're, yeah, you know, they're French. <laughs> that <laughs> that over hands in, in Twitch chat going, better than partial that. runs outside the bathroom, that's for sure. <laughs> that is an Inktober oh, sketch waiting to happen. Draw me like one of your French dwarves. Just laying out on, on a couch. Stick couch, of course, because I can't do an actual couch. So congrats to Scarlet Kitty and congrats to CC Bard. And we'll be back in two weeks on October 20th, same time, same bat channel, but different server will be on Sarlona. Yes, so if you are not flagged on Sarlona, you have two weeks to get a tune on there, leveled up and flagged, and then you can run Shroud Palooza with us. And if you don't play on Sarlona, you have two weeks to roll up an icon and can get flagged. It, it can exactly. be done, because I know people, i.e. even in Fulgrin, who have been doing that repeatedly. I've been doing that on a lot of servers. So many servers. So much servering. So much So many servers, flagging. so little time. Also, don't forget, we will be back here tomorrow night, and Bonnie and I will be among the players on D&D &D night. Are we still rescuing Sabajade? We are. Okay. Theoretically, we're going to rescue her tomorrow. I mean, that's sort of the plan. Yeah, that is at 7 o'clock right here, uh, Eastern Time. PM I don't know. If people keep DDS stepping on the rune night. on the floor, the runes that are on the floor, we might never get farther in the dungeon. Might just oh, be everybody true. running around I mean, chicken scared. I mean, they're worse stepping on the runes in Rainbow in the Dark, by far. I just yeah. hope that I get to summon my moon shark again. 
Yeah, no, we I'm... have Moon Shark. You should totally watch. Uh, basically, what this is, we are going to uh, using Fantasy Grounds. A uh, bunch of us scattered around the uh, the. You know, I don't think we have anybody not in the U.S., but we're like scattered around the U.S. and we all get online and get Fantasy Grounds and play Dungeons and Dragons. Not DDO Dungeons and Dragons online, but we play it uh, on the stream. And you, oh Patrick. I won't have to worry about Patrick throwing my poor little bard across the crevasse anymore because his I'm computer gonna tell died. Rant. I'm going to tell Rent all of the secrets. Rent, Rent to Pwn is going to be taking Patrick's place. And he will not throw me across large, large valleys and gulches and stuff like that, unlike Patrick. I'll just tell him that that's what Patrick likes to do. Patrick likes to do that, and he likes to look for um, people he can date, uh, Utini can date. <laughs> I think that's really high on his priorities. I, I, we I tried to fix him up with that that, that, person. that that pretty female. What was she a was she a hork or a, an orc or? She was an ogre. A ogre. Full ogre. Yes, that's right. We tried to fix him up with that ogre. I mean, I think she really liked him. Well, he didn't have armor and she didn't have armor, and they both See, used so like two-handed weapons, and it seemed like a match. It did. And then and, following D and D night, uh, streaming with Evan will be here at eleven p.m. Eastern. This is tomorrow night, and we will be running Night Rebels because I want the armor and the cloak and the scarecrow if they ever put it in the vendor. And because the D and D night is on the DDO stream, there is an archive of it. So if you want to scroll back and see what happened. Uh, well, I guess it wasn't last week. I guess it was two weeks ago. And, and get caught up on this episode, you could certainly do that. And you could see everybody stepping on runes and running like a scared little girl. Calliope did not step on a rune. She's not overly bright, but she was smart enough not to do that. Oh, Jerry's out of town. We won't have Jerry or Patrick tomorrow night. And that was a lot of fun to watch, too. Just, just, just watching it on the stream was fun. It is fun it to is play too. Fun to play. Uh -huh. It is. It is Brain fun to share. play. It's fun. It's fun to. It's fun to watch. Even if you can't. I mean, you guys have already got your players set up, so those who can't get in and play can at least watch and still share in the fun. Okay, if that's all anybody has, I think I'm going to go ahead and close the stream down. And as I exit, I will play that uh, Harry video just because I spent so darn long on it. It's a shame to only play it once. Do it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we are taking extra life donations through December first, I believe. No, through the end of the year. Oh, through but, the end um, of the year. So the cutoff for the drawing for twelve months of VIP is December twenty sixth. Okay. So if you want to donate extra life, Thanks for the great run. on our behalf, do it by December twenty sixth, so you might win a year's free VIP. We'll be doing the drawing on during our stream. That is on. I think it's Galanda on December 29th. I believe you're right. Okay, thanks everybody, and hopefully we will see you back here next time. Have a great night. And cue the awkward silence. Yeah, I'm waiting for the video to start running. I'm still waiting for the video. Yeah, it got right. There we go. What is this? Why am I here? I should be on Shamaran. What is this trickery? <laughs>
Trust in the shroud, 